everybody. Welcome to another episode of The Dragon Cast. My name is Brian Daniels. I'm back once again with my podcast partner in crime, Victor Salazar. And uh, Victor, dude, it's our 40th episode, man. Can you believe that? This way? Oh, four. It's 40. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Is that, is that right? I no, think that's, that's right, right? No, it's, it's, it's this way, buddy. It's this yeah. way. <laughs> episode 40. <laughs> anyway, we got... <laughs> it, it's it's it, we got it's somewhere around there, you know. We, 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 we're there somewhere, right? Richard don't even know how old he is, so he probably doesn't even know it was the 40th episode. So no, but uh, we got a very special a uh, 40th uh, episode planned today. We got uh, you, you probably wonder who the dude down here is. Well, let me tell y'all who this guy is. This is my man who I started doing podcasting with many many years ago. At least it feels like many years ago. You know, it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't like 10 years or something like that, but. Uh, this is my buddy Andrew Denman, and uh, we started doing a podcast uh, called The Game. Uh, he says FAQs. That's what weird people say it that way. But, it, <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> we, did, we, did a, we did a podcast called The Game Facts Podcast, and uh, Andrew, man, it's been so long, and it's so good to see you. How the hell are you doing, man? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing okay. Yeah, it has been. Uh, like I was saying, I think it's probably, been, yeah, about 10 years, so it's probably... Uh, I've been around the age that you were when you first started doing this. Yeah. So it's all kind of, kind of come oh, man. Uh, so full old. circle. Full, full, full circle. circle right <laughs> yes. Man. Well, well, man. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. It, it's great. It's great to see you, Andrew. I'm glad you guys, you were, I'm sorry, you guys. We were expecting another guest, but wish Kay wasn't able to make it. I know, but, man. That's fine. But it's, it's all right. You know, we'll chat with Kay some other time. But, but Andrew, you know, it's great to see you. It's, I'm glad to hear you're doing well. And, uh, you know, just to fill all you guys in, you know, we always have a little quick chat and that quick chat was almost like half an hour long, I think, uh, before the show. And uh, we're over here discussing ages and shit, you know, I'm like, oh man, Andrew's 27, man. That young man, you know, he's, he's had some experiences now. And we're over here counting fingers, trying to figure out how old we are. So just <laughs> no, you were the, the one time. <laughs> you were. <laughs> so just to clear the air, hey, you know, I'm, I'm 38. <laughs> you confirmed that I am 38. So that, that's that's it, man. I, just I think sure we need to see. Right. Your, I think we need to see your birth certificate. I think right? we need to gotta get that ID out. Get that ID out. <laughs> but uh, Andrew, man, it's great to have you on this on this 40th episode, man. It's so crazy that, that we've done this many episodes. We've had so many different people uh, over the years host this show, um, and I know Victor's been really uh, the the most consistent one. You were very consistent too when we first started doing this show, and. Um, Dude, how you been? What you been up to these days, man? Like, I know, uh, I know when I last, the, the very last time we did a show together, I think you were starting university. I'm pretty sure you've, have you already since graduated from that? Or uh, what have you been up so, to, man? Uh, so yeah. I, I took, I took the coward's way out. So I didn't go to university. Um, <laughs> I, I got an apprenticeship with uh, IBM back in 2012. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm still with them yeah, at the moment. So I've been at IBM for just over uh, eight years now. Um, wow. So, uh, <laughs> wow. but don't worry. Uh, but don't worry. Since we uh, last spoke, you know, my passion's still been uh, video games of all types. So uh, not too much has changed. You know, um, still spending a lot of my time with computers and consoles and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah. so. So quick, quick question for you. So an apprentice, apprenticeship. Or do you say apprentice or do you say intern? I heard apprentice, right? Apprentice, yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's a word we don't generally use here in the States, so it kind of threw off a little British bit. Word. It's one of those British yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So apprenticeship with IBM, huh, Andrew? So, uh, you know, just to fill me in a little bit on that, because that, that's new to me. So how does that work? Is that kind of like uh, an internship? Um, it's, uh, it, it, it's sort of, um, it's sort of, a, I guess, a newer initiative. I say, well, I say newer. <laughs> this uh, last decade, um, there was a sort of... Um, government initiative to basically have an alternative to university um so all these different companies have their own ways of doing it but essentially it's sort of you do the work but at the same time you also do some learning oh, linked gotcha. with that so i was working so i've been working uh, full-time with ibm even during my apprenticeship but i was also doing coursework on the side which i needed to uh uh, you know, get a good enough grade on to uh, to continue, and I managed to uh, to get that done. So it's basically a, a good way of balancing education 
and working um, rather than putting, you know, three, four year, years yeah. of your life. Yeah, exactly. Going gotcha. into university and then hoping that uh, you'll be lucky on the other side. Yeah, yeah it sounds, right. sounds very similar to a, a work study, right, Brian? Something like that? Yeah, that, that, that does sound, um, sound about right, which is so funny because uh, I, remember, I remember, Andrew, when we, when we did this show, this show in particular. Yeah. Uh, and we did Game Facts podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, that was one of the things uh, that, I, that I liked about having you as a co-host because you're, you're from a whole other part of the world. And so you use all these different terms. And I'd be like, what the hell does that mean? Like, yeah. what, are you talking, what are you talking about? Like, like, I remember one time you were like, I'm going to go on a holiday. And I'm like, what holiday is it over there? Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Uh, was, not like, a vacation. Was, was, yeah, right. Like, uh. <laughs> Well, yeah, that, man, that's, 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 that's how we learn, man. That's how we learn. Yeah, you know? yeah. No, yeah, man. It's always good to, to get to know, like, so many different cultures and stuff like that. And, um, you know, uh, Andrew, we, you and I, we had a lot of guests on our shows. We did yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. In the podcast. So we had many game developers and things like that on our show. Mm-hmm. And uh, I know Victor and I, you know, we've, we, we've had a lot, of, a lot of guests on this show now. And we had a lot of guests on our video game show we did, too. Mm-hmm. as well so i mean between the three of us we've talked to a lot of different a lot of people uh, yeah, many yeah people from various industries especially the gaming industry mm-hmm. um and uh, so how, of- how long were you guys doing the game facts man man we- what is it Maybe I, I want to say, say a, like, a couple oh, of look, years. Look, look, you guys are looking years? at the sky now. You guys have to start yeah. counting right. on your fingers too, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, like we, like we, uh, like we were saying earlier, a lot yeah, of the, um, a lot of the episodes. Of years, yeah. yeah, but the problem yeah. is a lot of the episodes have si- since gone into the ether, so it's difficult yeah. to, uh, to it's say, oh, to we say. got up to, you know, twenty. Uh, I think we hit twenty episodes. I think we hit like twenty, but but what happened was is so. Um, yeah, I guess it's story time, right? So, so yeah. w- w- how, uh, how, uh, how I got to know Andrew is um, I was at work. I used to work for a company called HTC. They're a cell phone company. They still exist somehow. They're not, they don't make okay. great phones anymore. And uh, in between calls, I get on the internet and I would always be on GameFAQs. I'm not on there very much anymore at all. But, yeah. um, but uh, back then it was like the go-to place. It was kind of like the Reddit of video games back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And, um, and uh, I remember, I think it was either, no, it was Mike who had posted, hey, who wants to start a podcast? Yeah. And, and so <clears throat> I had always been interested in that sort of thing. Um, and uh, that, because I used to do stuff on justin.tv, which is now Twitch. Mm. Yeah. And um I remember doing like a little like radio show back then. I used to play music and talk about video games, stuff like that. So um, when, when I saw that he had posted about doing a podcast, I was like, oh man, that'd be great. Like, I would love to do that. That'd be fun. Um, I didn't know how much fun it would be getting up at four o'clock in the morning every week though to do a show, but, <laughs> but that's besides the point. So, so, uh, so I had talked to Mike, Mike told me to message him. And then I know uh, Andrew, uh, was kind of was interested in doing it as well and so the three of us met up on Skype and yeah. um, Mike was the one that was hosting the podcast episodes on another website yeah and um, it just kind of took off from there like uh, you know we, you, if you go to YouTube you can look up the Game Facts podcast the first episodes there and you could definitely okay. listen to uh, how formatted and scripted <laughs> yeah <laughs> we sounded <laughs> <laughs> well, how, what did you guys we didn't do, know. man? Because we didn't like know. actually sit down and write something up. Yeah, or, I mean, we, yeah, we uh, were, yeah, I remember we mm-hmm. get like uh, we, we would get like um, links to articles and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Oh, ahead really? Of time. And we were to kind of refer to that for our reading points. So I remember, yeah, it might have been the first episode just to kind of date it a bit. I think it was talking about like the Mass Effect 3 ending or something like that. Or I think so. The yeah. DLC, on disc DLC controversy yeah. or something. I'm going to go yeah. back to this now, man. I got to listen yeah, to this. Yeah, you got to listen yeah. to this. But, <laughs> but, it was, but it sounds so like, uh, I sound so robotic. I, w- I went and listened to it, I think like a couple weeks ago. I, I, didn't lo- I didn't listen to the whole okay. thing, but I listened to a little bit. Yeah. And, and we only did 30-minute episodes back then, man. So like, I yeah. mean, we were really like, we got to get through this stuff quick. And... Um, it sounded so robotic, like, 
Hi, my yeah. name is Brian. This is the Game Facts podcast. Like, it sounded like I was a reporter, like, leading from a teleprompter. <laughs> and, and it sat, and I'm just looking at I'm like, that's so not me. That's not me. That's, that's not who I am. Like, I'm not that person. Like, I don't do that. So, <clears throat> so we did that, and we did, uh, we, we did news and stuff like that. So, yeah, like Andrew said, we'd have, like, we'd do these little, like, um, uh, pre-production meetings or something every week before we do the show. And we'd get together, and we would um, – <clears throat> we would find articles of conversation and then since we were doing a game facts podcast since it's supposed to be about the website we would also uh try to find all the drama all that juicy drama on the yeah. sports <laughs> and talk about it too and and do you remember andrew we used to have users come on from the from the uh yeah yeah from the website yeah, yeah. We would, so we would invite these users to come on who either were really like they had a lot of drama going on or they were <laughs> popular users on the message board. And so that way you could put a voice behind the username. Yeah. And we didn't do anything on video then at all. So like, you know, they still had that sense of anonymity because you didn't see their faces or anything. And so and so uh, it was really fun. Cause then you could have people come on and like talk shit about somebody on the message boards and you could hear their voice and stuff. So it was pretty funny, but yeah. like, um, we didn't know what we, we really didn't know what the hell we were doing, man. Like we were just throwing shit together and like, and like putting it out there. And then, um, and then, uh, Andrew, uh, you know, I, I gotta give you props, man. Cause you were the one that was like, maybe we could do game reviews and stuff like that. And I was like, you know, I mean, I don't really know. Like, I don't, how, who do I contact? Who am I going to reach out to to give me a game? Because we were like nobody, like no one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and then it, and it was so funny too because as this as this show got as that show got popular, we actually started getting popular on the, on the website at that point too. And yeah, we'd, yeah. We'd have people like, "Oh, when's the next episode coming out? You guys are great." And I'm like, "Oh, yeah. okay." And so, <laughs> so, and so I remember reaching out to uh, I reached out to Sega. Mm -hmm. and they gave me a copy of the sonic the hedgehog game yeah uh, and um and it just kind of took off from there and so honestly man um you know if it wasn't for doing that show i wouldn't be where i'm at today in my own career doing all this still all this stuff you know writing for i still write for dragon blogger mm -hmm. you know obviously i'm doing this show uh, i do a lot of other things too like convention reviews and things like that obviously with what's going on in the world i can't travel like yeah. i like to so <laughs> I'm stuck. We're all, we're all kind of stuck at we're home. All yep. in the living room, you know? So, you know? so I mean, um, you know, so, but, but uh, w w about the podcast episodes, though, so like Mike was our third co-host who was, yeah. I think he was in Italy or some other European country. And yeah. he, uh, he, he, had, he said that he ran out of space. Remember? He was like, I don't have any more space. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, what the hell? We got to have space. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, well, I could start deleting episodes. And we're like, no, don't do that. Because we didn't have, because just... like, I mean, you didn't really have Spotify. We didn't have Spotify back then, man. Yeah, we didn't yeah, have exactly. like all of this stuff like we have today, like Zoom and all these like other ways of easily recording a podcast like we did. You didn't have that back then. You know, there certainly wasn't any good free ways to record i mean we mm -hmm. had on we still had audacity i think back then yeah right? yeah audacity was around then yeah and i, I think remember, audacity was at its infancy though i think right yeah, back in we're talking young, about like, 2012 ish 2000, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah 2012 yeah and, yeah and i remember uh we had two people record the show because we didn't know if one recording was gonna be bad or not so i remember it was you and me who recorded the show yeah and then victor did the same thing too back then when he came in to this show sure. but um but we stopped doing the show because mike couldn't didn't have space we didn't have a way to do it and then i and then it was like like what later on in, the, in that same year that that fall i think was when we got we got picked up by uh by dragon blogger and we, we kept at it right. so you guys are telling me you guys stopped doing the podcast because we just ran out of space like that's <laughs> yeah. pretty much it that, that was the end all of it hey man you hey, have look, the whole hey. internet at that time and hey, man. You guys ran out of space hey, hey man look the skies were blue back then we didn't have clouds all right <laughs> yeah. we didn't know what cloud anything was in no and I, and I hear and i and i hear yeah. you man because you know those are the growing pains of podcasting and yeah. you know vlogging and all that stuff because I, like 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 Brian mentioned, you know, we had to do the dual recording. We had to save mm -hmm. those on our on our desktops, and mm -hmm. yeah. the would Dropbox was can only do so much. After you had to pay God knows how much for extra storage and whatnot, yeah. and 
And, you know, it was hard, man. It was not, it was not an easy thing to do. And mm -hmm. you had to be well connected and well financed to be able to go more than 20 episodes back in the day, man, because yeah. Yeah. I believe that you would start to run out of space. And then it's, uh, it's one of those deals where, dude, you got any money? Cause yeah, I don't. And I can't yeah. get you to do this, <laughs> you know? So I feel you guys, man, but that's crazy that that's the end of the show that that's what it was. Yeah, oh, but that's, yeah. that's, a, but that's but a sign think, of the times though. Sign of the times, yeah. So. I mean, the, the, I guess the other frustrating thing is that the, the, the last episode, as far as I can tell, it wasn't some sort of, uh, I guess we didn't know or think it was going to be the final episode. So it wasn't really any sort of, you know, milestone thing. It was just a regular podcast uh, and then mm -hmm. done. Wow. So you guys done. should get back and do one more, <laughs> one finale. And okay, we're done. Do. <laughs> we, we, uh, we, well, the highlight, I think, of that show was when we had Edmund and Tommy on. Remember that? that was yeah, like, yeah, that was great. Yeah. That was the peak. We, yeah. Edmund, you talking about uh, McMullen? Yeah, yeah, man, we had Edmund and Milne nice. on the show, and we had Tommy Refrenes. They they did a Binding of Isaac and Meet Mr. Right. Meat Boy. Yeah, and I remember Andrew, you got like super excited, like what? Like, cause, yeah, because <laughs> you had been playing those games a lot, and I hadn't really played uh, Binding of Isaac, but I've been playing Super. Oh, Meat Boy. Binding of Isaac is amazing, dude. I still yeah, have yeah. it on Steam to yeah. this day. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, man. I but, got the um, Switch version as well. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get I need to get a switch version. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have rebirth. I gotta get that one. That's the one I need to get. Yeah. yeah. But um speaking of video games, that's a good interlude to, to the next thing. So uh Andrew, we haven't talked you know, we haven't talked like said in a long time and um yeah. you're an avid gamer, you're still an avid gamer, you said. Of what course. do you dude, the, the scope of video games has changed so much. Uh, yep. since the last time <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Was the last time we did this. Yeah, that was and uh, um we had uh, let's see, we we I don't even think that it, the Xbox One hasn't had it even been released yet. Then so no no no, uh, we were still in like last gen. Uh, yeah. Gaming. So tell me, man, um, yeah. give me some of your thoughts on the current gen. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, tell me tell me what you think about the these consoles right now, and then we'll get to next gen. And we'll talk about okay it. okay. Uh, so, so we're talking about the Xbox One and PS4 and the Switch, yes, and the okay. Switch. Gotcha. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, so um, I started off um, this gen. Um, I, I, I decided to switch it up a bit. So um, back when, uh, you know, the 360 and PS3 was out, I, I had a 360. I enjoyed playing on it. Um, but for me, uh, PS3 had the better exclusives, um, you know. Oh, yeah. As much as people like to rag on it, I really enjoy things like Heavy Rain, uh, that <laughs> sort of thing. That was great, uh, yeah. So uh, when it got to next gen, or sorry, this gen, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I decided to go for uh, PS4 originally. Mm -hmm. um, Me too. And, I did too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, yep, got the got that. Um, had that on its own for a few years. Um, then I think I I picked up an Xbox One on like a Cyber Monday sale or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, I've got so I got both of them. Um, I still stand by. I probably put more play time into the PS4. Um, sure. Even when they're typically when there's uh, games that come out for both platforms, I tend to, I generally tended to lean more towards uh, PS4. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I mean, there's been some uh, yeah, real, real good ones this uh, <laughs> this generation. Um, yeah. I mean, for it's like God of War. Um, that was mm -hmm, the first mm -hmm. time I'd ever played uh, one of those games. Uh, Really Wait what? It. Wait what? I I didn't play any of the previous God of Wars. What? Are you serious? Wait, hold yeah, on. Wars about. amazing. Are you kidding me, dude? No, no. Oh. So Completely so serious. So I have not. So, okay, so I would tell you right now. <laughs> okay. I still haven't finished God of War on PS4 yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> dude, we're like on the fourth one now. What's wrong? Dude, with you? Bro. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't want to hear it. Look, he hadn't even played God of War. <laughs> he didn't know what the hell God of War was. <laughs> <laughs> you play PS4. Uh, uh, no, no. Have you? But have you? But have you went? Did you? Um, have you gone back and played the other God of War games since then? I have not. It, no. Oh my no. god. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Quick question for you guys. Oh, We're gonna continue oh, the God of War question. But oh, okay, okay. I know you had made mention that that uh, you're on the Switch. You got an Xbox One um, mm -hmm. or the 360, whatever it was. I just want to confirm. We have all three major consoles. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, yes, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, so me too. So here's the question before we continue with this. 
Ooh. considering that we have all three, mm-hmm. three, <laughs> yeah. which one? He can't count, which one, man. <laughs> <laughs> look, man, it's early morning. Let me be. <laughs> um, <laughs> since we have all three councils, um, yeah. why would you prefer, or I should say, which one do you game on more than the others? And if there's a reason why for it, you know? Like, you know, I got all three, but I tend mm-hmm. to favor the Xbox. Why? I can't even tell you why, dude, but I do. Is that the same for you guys? Like, is there like a preference or anything like that? It's, I, I, I tend to lean more towards, I think I tend to lean more towards PS4. Um, largely, well, like I said, the exclusives, but also I've got a larger library for my PS4 um, yeah. than with the, with the Xbox and the, and the switch but i'm also a sucker for you know like trophies and achievements and all that stuff mm-hmm. as well so um yeah. you know while, while the switch has some you know has some great you know first party titles and everything um i i think P- uh, ps4 would be my first choice so yeah you know I, i've always tripped out on that because you know I've, I've known many people that have all three and yet they all would gravitate towards one or the other without really having a rhyme or reason for it you know yeah, yeah. but yeah. um that's how i was just curious about it okay i'll tell you what for me um so yeah i have all three of them as well um i ju- i got on this i got in on the switch a little late because i didn't get one until like christmas of last year so like I, but i've been playing catch up like i just finished breath of the wild like about a month or two ago that's fantastic amazing. game um, and then I finished up Mario Odyssey not long ago too. Right now I'm playing um, the Super Mario 3D All Stars, which is oh man, I love those games. I got yep. that the other day. Um, but as far as which one do I play the most, I'll tell you right now. So I started off this console gen um, with the PS4, just like Andrew, mm-hmm. because uh, Microsoft messed up and they made some stupid mistakes. Uh, yeah, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. They, they made always, some... always online. You have to have a. Dude, I wish we would have been podcasting back then. <laughs> you, can't share your game. That, you can't, huh? you yeah. can't but, share um, your games with other yeah, people. Yeah, but the uh, but the whole you know they they, uh, they 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 messed up really bad. They dropped the ball really bad in 2013 at E3, and they yeah, uh, yeah you know and they 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 were trying to introduce DRM, which is digital rights management. You know they were trying to uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, make mm-hmm. you have to check in like you're a kid to play video games. I mean all this stupid shit. Like they were trying yeah. to get people to do this stuff that they that were just you know and they always say you know you got to start strong, right? And they did not. They didn't do that no, at all. No, no. And, and it really imp- it, it, it just impacted this whole entire gen for them. Um, yeah. Now, now, granted, they have been they've been you know since they got Phil Spencer, they've been really um, doing a good job trying to play catch up. I mean, they Sony Sony won this generation. There's just no doubt mm-hmm. about it. Yeah. Now, yeah. as far as um, so so for me, it's a little twofold. So I I started off the generation with the PS4. I ended up getting an Xbox One. I think like a year later, or two couple of years later into its cycle, sure. um, because it just didn't have games it just didn't have games right like mm, mm. and so um and so then what and then so then what ended up happening is i got the xbox and then uh shit happened uh i had this i had to get rid of my ps4 let's just put it that mm. way. Oh, okay and so then i didn't have a ps4 for the remainder i i literally hadn't didn't get a ps4 until my birthday this year so that's just why i'm playing ago, right so that's why i'm playing catch up you know, right. trying to get through Persona Five Royale, I've got that. Oh, I'm playing. Okay. I'm playing. I know, right? Yeah, I'm playing God of War. <laughs> uh, I got that strand. I mean, I literally like when I when I uh, when I was told, hey, get you know, uh, get whatever. So I got a PS4, and then I got like, okay, I wanted the exclusives because I hadn't played sure. any. So I, you know, I beat Spider Man, which is phenomenal. So I've been, mm-hmm. you know, but um, honestly, guys, my daily driver is the next box because, and I will tell you why. One, I have over 300 games on there on digitally, mm-hmm. so. Okay. Just kind of like how you said, you know, you have your Andrew, you have the your library, the library, yeah, yeah, almost entirely PS4. Mine is almost entirely Xbox. Uh, mm-hmm. Two is whenever I decide to go multi, if it's a multi-platform game, I have mm-hmm. a 4K TV that runs 60 FPS, so I have an Xbox One X. I have the more powerful console, so I'm always going to go with an Xbox One X over the PS4, okay. um, because it does display. In my opinion, it looks better um, mm-hmm. on there. Um, uh, my other reason, honestly, is uh, I like the UI. Uh, I prefer the UI on an Xbox over the PS4. I know a PS4 is kind of like that 
it, it's got that like uh, basic UI, which is easy to navigate. But for yeah. me, I've always thought that the UI and the ecosystem on the Xbox is better. Not only that, mm-hmm. but Game Pass, man, you can't, you can't, Game Pass True. is a hell of a value. Um, you know, getting to play all the exclusives, <laughs> mm-hmm. um, you know, and, and all that stuff. So for me, my daily driver has always been an Xbox. Now I will say, because I know there's going to be people listening to this show, and you're going to think that I'm an Xbox fanboy. I'm not a fanboy. I don't do that fanboy shit. And I don't go around dogging on people because of what they play. We are a uh, equal opportunity uh, show. <laughs> so Yeah, that's the best everybody. way to put it. <laughs> and, um, but, I, but I was curious but yeah. about this because, you know, man, like, like just, again, we're just talking – yeah. Because we're talking out of our ass right now. For sure, yeah. Xbox, Xbox obviously screwed things up you know, back in yeah. 2013. Yeah. And yet we all ended up with an Xbox. So it's yeah. like, is it just because we're gamers that we got to have the consoles, man? Like, know, is that what it is? I, 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 it's, <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's that fear of missing out. You know, is that what it is? I think that might be what it is. But I think it also is the fact that, um, I'll tell you why, for me, I'm a collector, so I want to have them all anyway. Um, I, have, I, I just got back into video game collecting. But okay. I think it's also just because uh, there are those few games on the Xbox that you can't play on a PS4. Mm-hmm. Um, granted, if you have a PC, you don't need an Xbox. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> really is. But yeah, I this is what I... Uh, go, see, go ahead. I'm sorry. But I, but I am curious. So, Andrew, what made you decide to get an Xbox, man? Like, if that's um, what I'm for. So I think it was. Um, I think it was. So I think I got my Xbox probably around two two. I want to say maybe 2017 ish, maybe 2016 ish. Mm-hmm. Basically, um, you know, I, I was just having a look around on uh, on Cyber Monday, and then I saw that there was a. Uh, a really good deal for like a basic mm-hmm. you know xbox yeah. one with a couple of games for i don't know 250 pounds i don't know what that would be in dollars off the top of my head but it was a good deal mm-hmm. um so i thought that i'd uh, go for it but the other thing is is that i i kind of joined the i guess my first actual console i had when i was a kid was mm-hmm. an original xbox yeah. then in the next gen i went to xbox 360 mm-hmm. so then i thought you know this there's this deal on why not why not get an xbox one uh it, 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 like you said it was a few years after uh all of the uh the issues had been uh mm. had been uh, had Ad- addressed been up. addressed exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. um yeah <laughs> so yeah so i just decided to uh to pick it up i think it came with minecraft and forza horizon 3 or something and uh yeah just thought why not i went for it and uh yeah yeah, I mean, well, I've it. always, I've always been curious at what the thought process is. Again, showing our age here, man. First console yeah. for me was the NES back in the day. I think I had an Atari too. But, okay. uh, but anyways, Same. but anyways, you know what? I was thinking about this when we have our discussions, Brian. It, you know, I think it was just last week we were discussing about Sega and Nintendo, mm-hmm. uh, oh. the Genesis and the uh, Super Nintendo. You know, that, when that first came out, this was before PlayStation even you know, yeah. jumped into the picture here mm-hmm. before Microsoft had their uh, console here. Yeah. And there was always a two ba- a two person battle until we had the three. Yeah. And now that we have all three, I find myself picking up each console every single time there's a new one. And I've always questioned though. I, I don't know if it was just impulsive or if it's just out of habit to have them, even though I would prefer one Same. over the others. Same. So, you know, I've always, I just wanted to, you know, poke, peek, peek, pick at no, your brain yeah. and see what's going yeah. on and see what you yeah. thought. Yeah. yeah. See I mean, what's that's... going on. What's your train of thought? Is it just me? I'm like, wow, the crazy one. No. You know, so I was, I was curious, man. Oh, that was, was a good question. Because you know what? The, yeah. The next gen questions. is coming out and no doubt yeah. we're going to end up with the updated Switch. We're going to end up with the PS5 yeah. and we're going to yeah. end up with, with the Xbox XYZB. One, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever they want to call it now. One thing I want to no. um, I want I want to ask you guys about. This is something that kind of bothers me in the gaming community. I'm a big I'm a big uh, believer in uh, you know, the the gaming community is can kind of be like sports in a way. You know, Victor and I we're huge football fans, man. Okay. Okay. And um, I don't know, Andrew. I don't think you ever have been a big sports fan, right? I mean, I know you guys got. You got the real, we've got, we've got, real football. Yeah, the real football. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, real football over there. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, sports kind of passed me by, unfortunately. But uh, but but I feel like uh, you know, um, everybody's loyal to a brand or or loyal mm-hmm. to the team or whatever, right? And yep. just like you know, Victor is a huge uh, Las Vegas Raiders fan, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ra- Vegas it, it don't matter, man. The, Ra- the Raiders are still the Raiders, the Raiders are Raiders. I don't care but, what they're um, at, you know. But um, and I'm a big Colts fan, right? And that's just probably because we're we were born or raised into a community, or where it's where you're from usually. But yeah. the thing about the consoles is, it's not about where you're born or where you're from. It's just you know what you like and what you enjoy. And mm-hmm. my thing about this is, I want to talk to you guys about fanboyism because man it bothers the hell out of me okay okay the about it so the thing about it is um here's the thing like okay we we in the sports community we trash talk right it's just it's just how it is man you, you know you got friends that like that like the packers for some reason i don't know why but they do you know you got people that like different teams and you don't know why but they do like my wife loves the browns because she likes baker mayfield but yeah it's fine it's whatever but like you know you, you got your <laughs> That's you know, a USC guy, just so you know. So the I know. California yeah, room. right. I know. So, like, but at the end of the day, regardless of what teams we like, or even look, even if for some reason you like Tom Brady, okay, you might be messed up in the head a little bit. But if you like Tom Brady, you still like football. And at the end of the day, we can we all enjoy the game, right? We all have yeah. a love for football. Period. Right. That's why we take aside that time on Sundays and get up and and make some food and have friends over and stuff to watch a game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's that same reason for gaming too. But the only difference is there are people in the gaming community versus sports who will belittle you because of what you enjoy. And I don't like that, man. That, that like, you know, I mean, you don't need to go around uh, making people feel bad or making them feel like they're less of a gamer because mm. of what they play on. I, I, I feel like, I had somebody tell me, uh, somebody that I know who posted that uh, if you're one of those people that thinks that, uh, that tries to say that you love all of gaming and this and that, that you're not, it's not a good thing for the gaming community to be that way. And I'm like, why? Why is that such a bad thing to, to yeah. and, and I get the whole, like, I, I try to be fair. I will call out, and if you've listened to this show, and if you don't look, look, if you don't listen to this show and you think I'm an Xbox fanboy, you need to go back and listen to some other episodes because I have given <laughs> Microsoft just as much shit as I do Sony <laughs> about things. Here, man, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some perspective on for everybody just to clear this shit up right now. Yeah. Let's say gaming is the same thing as football. They're on par, okay? Yeah. We all have our teams. We got the Colts. We got the Raiders. Whoever Drew wants to go behind, I'm all for it. Let's just, let's just give him the Browns just because they were thrown in here. Right? No. That does not mean that I will only watch the Raiders. That does not mean right. you will yes. only watch Indy and you will not only watch That's the Browns, right? right? That's we right. are a fan of football. You know, Sony, Microsoft, uh, Switch, Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah. Um, you know, once, once we start getting into, uh, let's just say, the playoffs, you know, new console, new gen, Mm-hmm. everybody gets into it everybody's seeing what the next person is going to do there is no comp there's no division there we're all like oh what's nintendo up to what's sony yeah, we're, all what's Microsoft? Yeah. Yeah. we're all intrigued we're all intrigued because we want to know what's going on mm-hmm. and i think that's where the toxic mentality comes for these you know fanboys type people are you mean to tell me that you're going to shut everything microsoft off just because you love sony are you going to shut everything that sony and microsoft does just because well, you're a big fan of the of the switch I, of nintendo i doesn't make sense to me man yeah it doesn't I, make sense well what i tend to see a lot of days is and, and all gamers are uh you know they do this whether you are whether you prefer i would say prefer it's a preference whether you prefer playing mostly on an xbox or whether you prefer playing mostly on a on a on a on a ps4 now nintendo it, they're they're off in their own world man they do whatever they don't care you know yeah. they don't they've, they've never been about 4k although rumor has it yeah <clears throat> they are planning on a 4k console apparently uh but they've they don't you know they're off in their own world man everybody look everybody loves nintendo right like they, you know mm-hmm. so a lot of people grew up with nintendo so they get that but my problem is with a lot of these Microsoft and Sony fanboys is they're not real with themselves. Like, okay, for instance, 
Look, the Colts have made some pretty dumb decisions over the years. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, good job. Yeah. <laughs> no, man. No, man. Like, <laughs> like you got to be real with yourself. When you know, If you like your brand, that's fine. But if, if you're going to go call out Microsoft for some stupid things and you don't call out Sony for stupid things, then that's what I'm, that's 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 the fanboyism, like yeah. it, it, you're acting as if you, the company that you represent can do no wrong. And can do no that wrong is what I have a problem with. For instance, yeah, well, I spent a decade and a half in mediocrity know, with the Raiders here, and I used, I'm the first one to say, "Damn, my team sucks yeah, right now." Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it'll get better. But I mean, that's the, that's my problem is, um, you know, there's a lot of fanboys on both sides that are just not real with themselves about their product like i mean look I, like andrew man i think even we, i think all three of us can say last year we probably played mostly on a 360 i think that's kind of a safe yeah, bet, yeah right we've all we all mostly played on a 360 but look look where we went to look where you know andrew went to he went to the ps4 right a lot yeah. of people went over to the ps4 i went over to the ps4 at first right mm -hmm. we all you know so but i mean the thing is is that um that you know microsoft a lot of fanboys were very real with themselves. Like, man, they, they messed up. And, and that's how I always try to be. And I can't stand when people, uh, you know, like I've seen people say, oh, you bought an Xbox One. You're not a real gamer. Like, and like, why? Why do you gatekeeping? Stop yeah, gatekeeping do that. video games, man. Like, <laughs> let's not do like, that, guys. Like, you I, know what? I, I hate that mentality of like gatekeeping and making people feel like they're less of a gamer because of what <sighs> they play on. Man, screw that, dude. Like, this, you play this, on is, what, this is what it reminds me of. It reminds yeah. me of trash talking, dude. Trash talking is an art to a sense. Yes. You're yes. an Indies fan, Brian. I'll give you crap all day long about Indie, but that doesn't That's mean fine. I'm going to put down the team or whatever yes. the case. You know what I mean? We're having a friendly banter just because yes. that's what and you that's do. And that's fine. But and that's you, good. But, when but you there's, there's people like, that take yeah, it a little too far. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And those are the people that start to really mess with this whole – yeah. You know, oh, you're not a true football fan because you love the Browns, Drew. Oh, you suck, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you know, yeah. Nah, yeah. That, that, that's, that's taking it too far, dude. Let, let everybody yeah, like just, what they like, do what they do. Just, uh, you want to have, have trash talking? Cool, have trash talking, but don't take it yeah. too far. Yeah, I just that's think where that, I think the fanboys, people are taking yeah, it a little too far. Dude. Yeah, I think that, I think that uh, you know, it, you've got to be real with whatever you buy, too. Because, I mean... Uh, if you are a Sony fanboy and you blindly, you never give them shit for the things that they do, uh, because look, Sony, you're guilty too. You you you've done some dumb things too. Like you like you know, people can dog on Microsoft and look, I get, it. I'm in there with you, dude. There's so many dumb things they've done this generation, yeah. but Sony, you've done some bad things too. Like you know, uh, you didn't want to do crossplay. Like what's wrong with you? Why would you not want people yeah. to play games <laughs> together, man? Like and, and I get why because they want people to buy their com. They are, Sony's in this very big mindset of buy a console, buy our console. We want to give you reasons to buy our console. Although Microsoft is future-proofing the gaming industry because they know, they know that it ain't going to be about consoles. Like, look, 10 years from now, we ain't going to be playing on consoles no more. We're going to be playing on our TVs. All of this cloud-based gaming is where it's going to be at. entertaining. Like, the a gaming box. console will be done. It'll be entertaining thing. Yeah. But now yeah. here's a question for, for Drew here. Is this just a cultural thing? Is this just a heavy American fanboy stuff? Do you see any of that stuff over in the UK, man? That's a good question. Oh, no, no, it's, it, uh, I think with, with this sort of thing, uh, particularly, you know, with, uh, it, it kind of it, it goes beyond boundaries. So I think that, you know, people, you know, people who, you know, might say, who might not see, you know, the bad things that Sony or Microsoft has, has done, you know, there'll be people in the, you know, in the UK who will, you know, be apologists for that sort of thing. People in the US, you know, people in you know, all over the world. Uh, yeah. So I think it's, um, I, I think the other thing is that a lot of this is online based um, rather than face to face or yeah. in person. Yes. So, so I think that again, you know, with the, you know, with the internet and everything, it's all global and everything. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. So I think, it, yeah, pretty much the same. Well, how, do you, how do you how do you feel about the, the the current state of like what let's get into the next gen topic let's let's, let's talk about what the <laughs> talk about the uh <laughs> let's talk about the uh, the ps5 now next week guys we're gonna uh ps we're gonna we'll talk about the two consoles but next week victor and i are gonna really get into a whole uh, we'll get into we're, the gonna, details, we're gonna blow the lid open about everything but i want to talk with uh, andrew about this because you know we we mostly did a video gaming podcast and I'm really uh, curious to hear your thoughts. So 
first off, uh, where do you where are you going? With? I think I know what you're gonna, you're going to get a PS5, aren't you? You're going. Uh, are you? Uh, oh, oh, mm, oh! Just a big surprise oh. announcement. Let's okay. go to what you got. What you got? What you got? What do you, what do you think about these? I've, got, I've, got, I've got a one word answer and stories to get into when we get to right. that point. Yes, both. Both. My answer is both. That's a good. That's both. A good both. Yeah. That's, that's what yeah. I'm saying, guys. I, yeah. I feel like we're gonna end up. That is with, a good. That is the. Three. That is the only answer, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So here's here's a question. Um, mm-hmm. Obviously, pre-orders are, are coming in. Uh, so do you already have both pre-ordered, or is it one first and then the other one shortly after? I I, I want to say yes. I've got both pre-ordered. Um, I, I I'm being. This is going to be one of those things that I'm not going to say definitely until I actually have them, just because <laughs> I've heard a lot of uh, stories that people right? say, yeah, yeah because uh, it's been it's been a mess. I yeah. think it's fair to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to get into that? You want to get into that? Yeah, mess, Brian yes. or Drew? Yeah, man. Yeah, this this whole pre-order thing has been absolutely ridiculous. Like, I um. I, uh, so so GameStop was supposed to have a shipment of PS5, uh, another uh, PS5 pre-order t- yesterday. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to get up because I didn't feel like I needed to be there at midnight and camp out. Like what, are, you know, it's, it's we're, we're in a pandemic. Who's going to do that? Mm-hmm. So yeah. I get up and uh, the GameStops here uh, on the East coast, they open at like nine, uh, I'm sorry, at noon. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Cause of the pandemic, everything's opening and closing all these weird times. A bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I get up at like, uh, nine and I'm like, okay, I'm going to get coffee. I'm going to go to Starbucks, get some coffee. And then I'm going to go over to GameStop and I'll bring my switch with me and I'll camp out for two hours. You know, yeah. I get there and there's already eight people there. And they've, that's, that's however many, they only had eight PS fives and the, not the op, not the uh, one without the optical drive, not the digital one, just the one with the optical drive. Yeah. Yeah. Each store only had eight. And I, so oh, I, okay. yeah, the whole, the whole pre-order thing has been ridiculous. Like I, like yeah. I waited in a virtual queue and I was told that GameStop was going to let me pre-order it and then it didn't let me pre-order it. And I'm like, God dang it. Like I'm never <laughs> going to get this. <laughs> so like what have the, I'm sure the pre-orders in the UK have been just the same thing, right? It's been yeah. So, so it's because um, if you remember, so it was really weird because it was PlayStation's 25th birthday, wasn't it? On like the 9th of September, yeah. I think it was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So the rumor was going to be, oh, you know, we're going to, you know, Sony are going to announce the, uh, you know, the, the pre-order day and price yeah. on that day. Yeah. They screwed that up. That yeah. was a big good one. That was yeah. a bad, that was so dumb. Yeah. Well, that was That's also, because that, that, was, that was also the day that Microsoft got ahead. And, and they said, ah, this is the price of our consoles and this is when you can pre-order them from. Yeah. Uh, so they kind of rained on their parade a bit. But um, <laughs> of course, I think a week or so later, that's when they had the uh, the showcase, right? The, yes. uh, the PlayStation. Yeah, that sounds about right. The following yeah. Wednesday. Yeah, it was when they yeah, had yeah. the showcase. So, um, you know, I had it on. Um, and to put things in perspective, it, it started at 9 p.m. UK time on the Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um watched it to the end they announced a price they announced a release date i thought cool good i'm going to bed now because they didn't say anything about the the pre-order when the pre-orders be going live oh, yep. so then I, yep. I woke up in the morning and then i saw emails from these places i asked to be notified from at like a quarter past midnight saying oh ps5 pre-orders are live now so i so i panicked in the morning i looked you know on uh, amazon um our, basically our version of GameStop in the UK is just called Game. Uh, I checked on the, their website, that was all broken and not working. It's you know basically sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Mm-hmm. Um so what I ended up doing was um I I, I was looking on uh, on the on the game Twitter and they said, Oh, were well, you doing in-store pre-orders from 8 a.m. on Thursday? So I, uh, luckily I'm not too far away from one. So I, you know, got out, stood there, uh, probably about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, I was in the first in the queue. I was very happy about that. Um, so <laughs> yeah. they, they didn't open at eight, they opened at nine, but Oof. I managed to get in, there, get in there, pay the deposit. And in theory, I've got a PS5 pre-ordered. <laughs> was, in I love the word choice there. Yeah, yeah, in theory. yeah. yeah a lot of people are feeling and, that way too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because I heard, because like I said, I heard these things about people who'd ordered off, you know, 
online retailers who are saying, oh, my order either I haven't got a confirmation email or um, That's right. you know, I've got a notification that it's been cancelled or something like that. So, yeah. um, so I, no, go ahead, Drew, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, but of course, uh, I, the pricing in the UK is really out of whack, I would say. Yeah. So, so, cause I, yeah, I went with yeah, the, I man. went, I went with the, I went with the, with the regular PS5, you know, with, with the, the optical uh, drive. With, yeah. With the drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And in the U S they're charging it at, I think it's $499. Yes. Right? Yes. In the UK, that's 449 pounds, which is a really bad exchange rate value. But yeah. who am I to complain? Our dollar <laughs> sucks. But yeah. Yeah. We get it. We get so, it. So, uh, so I've just I'm hoping, and of course in the UK it's coming out a week later. So yeah. It's out, <laughs> so it's coming out on the twelfth in the US, right? Uh, November twelfth. Yes. Yeah. November nineteenth in the UK. That's so dumb. That's crazy and, to me. And and, yeah. and and by the way, uh, you, you, your games are going to be a lot more expensive there too. Yeah, I think you guys. Are, well, no, you're not. It's like fifty. It, I think it's going to be. Uh, are you guys on euros? You guys no, are on pounds in the UK. Pounds. Oh, thank God! Pounds Did you hear about the euros? Dude, they uh, got no. screwed on the euro. Oh man, it's it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Uh, euro. It's it's like I think it's like thirty dollars more American. Yeah. On, oh. Okay. To the to the euro for games there. Oof. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. Yeah. yeah you guys want to know want to know a secret? Mm-hmm. I have okay. never ever ever pre-ordered a console before. I don't do it. Okay. And I don't do it for that type of reason right there, man. There's always some shit going on with the pre-orders that I just can't trust it. So unless Apparently. I can actually pick up you a know, box and hold it myself. You know, I wanted to ask oh, you I guys. Do it. I want to ask you guys about that because this has always been uh, something I've wanted to know. Now, Victor, you've never pre-ordered a console. Never. Um, I'm curious, man. Andrew, you know, you, you have, I have, I've waited in, I waited. I remember when the Wii first came out. I waited in line oh. for eight hours for a Wii. Yep. Um, <laughs> on, on the eight night hours, day. dude. Yeah, dude. And yeah, see, um, I don't do that, man. <clears throat> Sorry. What is it about needing to have the console when it first come out? Like, why do people feel like? Do you think that they like? I like. You've already waited this long, right? Like we've been waiting yeah. seven years now for a new gen to come out, something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is it about? What's well, another month or so, right? What is it? Yeah. Like, what is it about having to have? <laughs> these consoles now and and i will i want to add something you know it's not just about having it day one Mm -hmm. but let's talk about the current gen you know uh, i mean the the next gen what is it about having these consoles right now but also Mm -hmm. about having them right now when there really isn't any there's not that like game that you've just gotta like gotta have either console really has in my and this is my opinion Mm-hmm. because we've got spider-man miles morales you've got um godfall i think i don't think godfall is the launch title though um, um assassin's creed valhalla uh, valhalla mm-hmm. you've got um demon demon souls, souls I think yeah um which is a remake uh, yeah. remaster so that's already a game that's been out and then mm-hmm. you've got um the sack boy game yeah and, you know, so I mean, but 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 those a few of those games are going to be on the PS4 already. Mm-hmm. You, know, you don't really need a PS5 to play those. Um, and then Xbox doesn't have like <laughs> anything. Not have anything. <laughs> hey, I got nothing. <laughs> so so I'm curious. What is it? What do you think, Andrew? Is <clears throat> excuse me the mentality? And I'll ask you why too for your own reason. Why do people feel like they got it? Like, oh man, I can't, I got to go get it like right now. Like, why do people feel that way? You know, you know it's, there's nothing out right now for them. So yeah, I mean, that's, what is it? What's that it's, mentality, that, right? Yeah, it's a fair point. So I think for me, it's, I, I mean, it's a sort of, I think it's largely a combination of fear of missing out yes. uh, combined with the facts that, you know, a whole, you know, everybody's still, you know, indoors. So you know, it's going to be home entertainment, you know, streaming, you know, TV shows, streaming movies, playing video games and that sort of thing. That's going to be the thing that everybody's doing at the moment. Mm-hmm. Of course. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I hear what you're saying about the, um, about the games coming out, you know, they're coming out on PS4, you know, Xbox one, mm-hmm. as well as um, PS5 and Xbox series X and all that. Um, but I think for me is that the, the games that are coming out 
um, I kind of want to experience on the next gen console. So the ones that are, yeah, so the ones in, in yeah, my yeah. mind at the moment are, so Valhalla, I, I, mm. you know, I've, I've always enjoyed the Assassin's Creed games, including too, Unity, including Unity. Um, I think oh, I've got a bit oh, of a bad rap. Oh, <laughs> oh man, you like Unity? Oh, ooh. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, okay. So they teach um, their own, man. Teach their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the new, the new Spider-Man game. Um, again, another, <laughs> another thing I've got a soft spot for: Call of Duty. Mm. Uh, with Cold War coming up, yeah. um, and also Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, I, mm. I, I know a lot of these are coming out on, you know, the cross gen. gen. The yeah, cross yeah, gen. exactly. And they're saying, oh, if you get it for this console, you can, you know, upgrade it. Upgrade either, e- either yeah. for free in cases like Cyberpunk, yeah. or have very confusing bundles like with uh, Cold War. Sony. Ooh, man. I'll tell you what. See, there, there's, there's two things right there. Hold on real quickly Ooh, before we move. Yeah. Two things. Mm-hmm. Drew, you made mention of, you know, people being stuck indoors and all that good stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not the best stuff, but you, yeah. you're absolutely right. People stuck indoors. What do you think that the switch is what everyone is going towards because they're stuck indoors? Man, that switch was on demand for, for months once the months, pandemic yeah. hit. They were like sold out everywhere. Everybody needs to have a switch. Yeah, not sure yeah. why, but everyone just had to have one. Mm-hmm. The second thing I want to make mention is, and we'll go into discussion to this right now, mm-hmm. uh, that upgrade policy, man. What do you think of, you know, if you already own it, we'll upgrade you. Uh, but, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. There's going to be a lot of this going yeah. on. And, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's uh, in some cases, it's nice and simple or, or they're laying it out simply. So um, CD Projekt Red are saying, if you get it for current gen, you can upgrade it to next gen for free. You know, simple as that. Um, but with, uh, but, but the other one that springs to mind um, is, uh, like I said, Cold War, where they have some bundles Oh for God. the PlayStation 4, which you can upgrade to the PlayStation <laughs> 5 without any issue. But for the Xbox side of things, you have to get a completely different bundle, which is, you know, a higher price so yeah. you can uplift it. Upgrade. So the thing is, is that, um, so, so basically for me, it's a case of if I want to get these games and they're coming out for current gen and next gen, but I want to move on to next gen, then that's the path I'm probably going to to try to take. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, that's pretty much my, uh, the, the main reason why I kind of jumped yeah. in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like, um, you know, uh, there's like, like my one problem with the Sony, uh, trying to do it is the way they're handling Miles Morales too. I don't know if you saw this or not, but I've heard about it, but I, oh, they, I, I I've not, seen about it, but I don't know the specifics. So, so they're uh, doing the thing where on Miles Morales, if you buy Miles Morales, on PS4, mm-hmm. it will it will upgrade to the uh, PS5 at no additional cost. But okay. if you want to play Spider Man, <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta buy the deluxe edition. Oh, okay, I have heard about for that. PS5, which I think is sixty dollars. Yeah. So you don't yeah. get the upgraded Spider Man if if you already own Spider Man, which I think is kind of dumb. Oh, okay. Um, okay. that that kind of doesn't yeah. make any sense. Like they're trying to. D- 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 the whole art of double dipping makes me mad because I don't like like they did it with control, to the yeah yeah you know, the, they, the, the, the double the 2K dipping for, with Kobe yeah. Bryant as well the two K stuff with the Kobe Bryant stuff. Um, well, here here's a question: Do we know this or do we not know this? Um, who's in control of this? Is it the developers themselves or are we talking the console owners? Man? It's Who is it's it? a little bit of both. I think, I think it's mostly on the developers though. The developers. Yeah, um, that's, with, yeah. with how they want to transition their games. Uh, I mean, you know, this isn't anything new though, guys. I mean, we've done this before. Like, you know, the whole cross gen thing isn't anything different. My, but my problem is, you know, this is going to tie back to, uh, the fanboy thing we talked about, you know, giving these console uh, developers crap for stuff that they do. Mm -hmm. So Microsoft, their whole, their whole mission is we want you to play our games anywhere. We want you to play them on PC. We want you to play them on your phone and tablets. Now you can with game pass on the, uh, on your Android devices. And now Mm -hmm. they finally did it with the iOS. Thank God they they're they're, It's in beta now. So you can use it on your Apple phone. Um, And then on your, on your, PC, I mean, on your PC and everything else with Game Pass. Yeah. And um, 
Whereas, you know, Sony, they're all about, we want you to buy our console. We want you to, we want to give you a reason to purchase our console, which on both sides, there's nothing wrong with what each one are trying to do. Although I think it's a little, little strange in my opinion to, uh, to try to push a console, but yet you want people to play everywhere. That's just kind of, uh, it's kind of weird to me in a way. Yeah. But my point here is, um, Microsoft has made it very well known what they're going to do. They're trying to get you to play wherever you want to play, right? Xbox is not just a console. It's a brand, right? They're selling you on their service. They're trying to sell you a service, not just a console. And I get that. Yeah. Um, now, Jim Ryan, this is back in May. He, uh, he is, for those who don't know, we, uh, he is the head of Sony. Which we've um, just found out not rec- not too long. Which ago. we which we had to <laughs> dig deep for because my, my that's my problem with Sony is like who are these guys? They don't ever like they're not prominent as as, yeah, as far yeah. as like Phil Spencer is and things like that. But um, Jim Ryan had an interview with uh, I think it was The Verge and he was talking about generations like oh we believe in generations, you know we don't want we, we believe that you know if we put out a PS5 we want to make games for the PS5 essentially saying that he doesn't want to do any cross-gen and this was after microsoft had made it very clear that yes you know halo infinite is going to be on the xbox one x and it's also going to be on the series x and that made a lot of people mad that made a lot of sony fanboys mad they're like oh well why do we have a reason to purchase your but then when sony does the exact same thing where are they at? Where are they at about that? That's my that that's that. So so Sony um, had made it very clear they weren't going to do this. They weren't going to have their games be cross gen and mm-hmm. things like that. But let's face it. I mean, I saw it coming. This happens. This always happens. Like it happened this gen. You know, when the Xbox uh, One and the PS4 came out, there was cross gen games and they were trying to figure out how to upgrade games and things like that. You know, you have to have the disc inserted to upgrade mm-hmm, to the, mm-hmm. to the, you know, the, the current gen stuff. So, I mean, um, my problem though, you know, with the, uh, with these consoles is we, we know all about the games and that's great, right? That's why we buy these consoles. We want to play games on. Them. Now, my thing is Andrew and Victor is uh, these consoles ain't cheap. Right, we're talking like five, six hundred dollars, you know, five, five hundred American dollars, something like that, down there and the, over there and overseas, you know, and they're getting even more expensive overseas. Yeah, but uh, I, I, I want to know more about features. Like I know about the hardware, I know about yeah. the games, but what else can these things do? Because let's face it, right, it's kind of like buying a PC. You know, yeah, you, you know, a lot of people who are gamers buy a PC to play games, but you want to be able to do more things with that too, right? So yeah. my biggest thing is they haven't talked about uh, console streaming yet. They haven't talked about, you know, what do these, are these, uh, are these consoles able to stream in 4K? Are they able to, uh, now I know they can take video in 4K. Mm-hmm. They can already do that on uh, current gen consoles right now is take, uh, take pictures and video in 4K. I'm curious, guys, what these consoles are going to do when it comes to con- streaming from a console. Because I like to stream from consoles. I don't really feel like I should be needing a graphics card anymore um, from a PC. We're, we're already we're getting into the future. You know, what do you guys think about console streaming for these uh, for these consoles coming up now? Oh, yeah, I mean, it's it, it all seemed kind of. Um, I uh, to, to, to just to add, kind of. Uh, a bit of background to this. I, I don't really do streaming or anything like that. Uh, but of course, you know, when I got my uh, PS4 and that was one of the things that they were touting, oh, look, you've got, a, you've got a share button. You can broadcast directly from your console without any, uh, yeah. without any issue. I, it, it seemed fairly basic. I, I mean, mm-hmm. it, when you stream, uh, you know, you might be doing one thing in the game. And then if you're actually watching the stream on another, you know, like a PC or something, it's a good, you know, five to ten seconds behind Delay. Yep. what's mm-hmm. actually happening, which mm-hmm. it isn't really, uh, it doesn't really, it's not very conducive to the whole audience experience, is it? Mm-hmm. If you're reacting in a certain way, you know, a good amount of time before they are able to see mm-hmm. what happens or mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff. So um, if they do want to kind of use, you know, console streaming as a kind of as a go-to, um, you know, without any sort of fancy setups, you know, capture cards and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And then um, they need to work on uh, 
you know latency you know delays that sort of thing but of course that's going to be tricky because that's not just down to the console hardware that's also down to what kind of you know what kind of connection Internet you've got connection, yeah. Yeah, exactly ISP. exactly yeah. mm -hmm. so um i think it's going to be kind of uh it's i don't imagine it's going to be kind of like a thankless task because it's got it there's only so much that they can do but there's also I, yeah I, i'm hoping mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we get some like overlays or something because i know um that's that's always been a problem for people who stream from a console is you know you don't really have that you don't have obs you don't have a mm -hmm. means to make overlays now i know there's a service out there called uh lightstream and i think you pay like five or six bucks a month and it actually it's kind of interesting i tried it um where it's like a cloud-based version of obs it's really weird and you it gives you overlays if you're on a console and you don't need like obs you it, it does all the overlays for you which is really really cool but i hope that's something that uh, you know this this whole this whole year has been undoubtedly weird, weird. right yeah. like we didn't get you know usually in june we get all this information about games like we would have we would have known months ago the price and what's going yeah, on yeah, yeah. And, and everything yeah and i feel like we're buying these consoles with with we're all blind the, with, we're with blind so we're, much we're, missing information i still feel like yeah. like yeah. you know we don't we don't have any demonstration really of these consoles being used like we normally get yeah. we don't have any like we barely seen the ui like um, did you, yeah did, did you did you laugh you know, when the playstation 5 came out and they said oh rendered uh what was it being played oh, from a computer oh yeah uh, yeah simulating a ps5 yeah. i'm like what <laughs> Dude, oh, we're gonna, why we're are gonna, we not seeing the ps5 oh, no, no, we're gonna, here guys we're gonna What's talk going about on? that showcase here in a minute but but the <laughs> thing is is that yeah like um you know usually we get these big presentations that are like hour long and show it yeah. showing off all their games and I know um, Jeff Keighley tried to do this big summer of gaming thing and, and, and tried to work with all these different developers like Ubisoft and all that to try to showcase their games. And they've tried to do that as best as they can, because let's face it, we're all trying to figure and emulate mm -hmm, life out mm -hmm, right now mm -hmm. right, as best we can. But um, I just feel like, you know, uh, it's so, I think it's been for me, I don't know about you guys, and just, just tell me how you feel about this. It's not as exciting this year about I don't feel as, I don't feel as excited about a new console like I usually am when we have three yeah. or when we have a, a gamescom or when we have a big Tokyo gaming show and all this and that there's just I, I feel like the excitement level and, 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 and don't get me wrong I am just it's just not as big it's not over 9,000 levels of like excitement. Because yeah. the hype hasn't really been there. We haven't really got to see these things being used or, or played on in any videos. I mean, we don't we usually when you're at E3, you see somebody coming out with the controller and they're up there looking at the big screen playing these games. You don't, we haven't seen any of that stuff, right? Like none yeah. of that, you know? So, I mean, are you, do you guys, what's your excitement level been like with this console release compared to years past or, you know, uh, generations past when we've had all these really, uh, big presentations uh, it's it's for me it, it, it's sort of mixed um because uh, of course because i mean there's been all sorts of uh, things so of course uh separate from the the ps5 stuff there was of course the uh it was rocksteady right with the uh with the suicide squad game and gotham yeah. knights and everything yep uh, you know that sort of thing a far cry 6 um the i mean even the the harry potter rpg that they had i mean it all looks good and you know it's going to yeah. be you know i think that's going to be kind of the stuff that's going to showcase what the next generation can do but of course you know that's 2021 2022 next it's not going to yeah. be yeah it's not going to be at launch um but uh, so you know at launch we're going to get well like you said we're going to get a couple of exclusives yeah. at least on the sony side yeah. um and i know a lot of people are hyped up for uh, demon souls and stuff but i mean when mm -hmm. yeah with yeah. the first show with the first ps5 showcase that they did earlier this year it, it seemed like a joke that they were basically saying oh here's gta 5 again 
<laughs> Again, yeah. yeah that's didn't, coming didn't out, they, which is also coming out in 2021, I believe. Didn't they start their <laughs> conference with that? They did, they like, did, yeah. With, like, with a so game like, already out? Like, what are they yeah, doing? Yeah, so it's like Rockstar. It's like, wait, is it going to be GTA 6? It's like, no, no, no. It's GTA 5 for the third generation now. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. that's insane to me man and but, and, I think, but your, but and i think that that's well, why the excitement level is not as high yeah, as it yeah. has been in the back yeah. and in the yeah. past years and you know just as an example i'm going to bring up nintendo i was over at uh like a switch event you know uh, at the paramount studios when it first launched and when my I, I took my wife with me, I could invite a guest. So I'm invited to this event. I take my wife with me, and the first thing we see is a big old Mario. They're um, they're uh, advertising Odyssey. Mm -hmm. They're advertising uh, Breath of the Wild, mm -hmm. uh, Mario Kart Deluxe Eight, I think it was, but I think that one was already out. But they yeah. still had exclusive, not not so much exclusives, even though they they are. But it's new, you know. Yeah. It was a new game, not. GTA 5 you know and yeah. that's one of those deals where if we don't have that one game that's going to draw you in to purchase yeah. the console then that excitement level comes down man and I think that's where I'm at I'm not yeah. as excited because I don't have anything to gravitate towards if Sony yeah. were to come out and say hey dude check this out we have the new Silent Hill game coming out oh I'd be like through the roof let's go yeah. i need that i gotta I have guess, that in my life and that's the thing like when i see these people getting but it's so not excited there. when i see these people getting so excited i'm like what, what are you well, getting excited about man well, I, mean, <laughs> I mean like it's a box it's just a game thing it's, just, it's a thing we play a game on like i mean you know i need the games i need that excitement and it's been it's we've been void of that excitement in my opinion. well like, to, I mean, to be fair to be fair to be fair you know like I just, we are I mean, excited about the potential I know that yeah, we've yeah. discussed this before yes. as well that, yes. you know what, when, when, when the consoles usually launch, uh, yes. that beginning is a little iffy, but about a year one, year two is when we really start seeing the full potential of these consoles. That's when developers are really tapping into the power. Uh, yeah. So maybe that's when we should be getting excited and not so much at launch. But I, I, yeah. I, I still feel like these consoles should have came out next year. I really feel like they should have waited because, because, um, you know, I know people want something new to play on, but there's not a lot to play on. There's not a lot of uh, uh, quality, in my opinion, there. I mean, because uh, let's face it, neither console really has anything that you can't play on the other console. Uh, I mean, well, I take that back. Um, <laughs> Sony, has, Sony has games you can already play on the PS5 or PS4 that's going to be coming out on the PS5. And then uh, there's Demon Souls, which came out on the PS3. So, if, if, I mean, yeah. I get that it's a remaster or remake or whatever, and it looks pretty. But mm -hmm. I don't. Uh, to me, graphics aren't everything. Yeah, understand. I'm old school, man. We like like Victor. We grew up playing games on eight bit sprites with chip. Yeah. <laughs> so like, we don't really. So those of us of, of that age group, we don't. You know, graphics are not all the end all be all, right? To us. Mm -hmm. But um. But but to to the thing is, is that I mean, every time you know, Victor, you just said you said it so well. All these games they show off. God of War not coming out for probably another couple of years. Yeah, the, the second one you got um ratchet and clank probably not coming out till next year i mean all these games aren't till next year so why yeah. the hell did they not wait until next year you know to, to, to bring them out i mean i just you know uh, i don't feel like granted i'm gonna go i'm gonna get them <laughs> yeah i'm gonna get them and, and my main my main reason for getting them is because i want to review them i want to unbox them i want to show them off when they come out but honestly, man, I'm probably going to be going back to playing my PS4 and my Xbox One X more when the new ones come out because there really isn't uh, – what is it I'm looking for? That uh, There isn't that buffet of games. You know what I mean? Like there isn't yeah, that yeah. – oh, man, that like big meal that I want to play. You yeah. know? So I just – I don't know, man. Like yeah. uh, it, it, it's uh, – <laughs> I feel like that excitement hasn't been there, and I hope – God, I hope that next year things go back to normal somehow. Because, man, we need those presentations. Like, we yeah. need those, um, you know, those showcases and those powerful showcases. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I not just these, not just these quick little video. Like, they all, they all felt like Nintendo Directs this year. You know what I mean? Yeah, too polished. Yeah. Too, <laughs> yeah, and barely showing gameplay from the actual consoles. I, I hate that too. Like. Yeah. Yeah. 
You know, I mean, we, we haven't really got to see much of the user interface. I know, I think Sony brought out a video showing like the startup, but they didn't really get into like the UI and I mean, what? The, I'm telling you, man, the, we're going into this blind. We don't have much of yeah. anything to go by, man. But we're, we're there because, you know, we're gamers mm-hmm. and we love the stuff. And that's yeah, why we go back to it. I think we've gone too far on, on kind of both ends of the spectrum. So you had your, you know, you had your gaming showcase, which is all well and good. But earlier this year, wasn't that also a really in-depth very technical breakdown <laughs> of of the ps5 but, you know yeah, this Mark is Cerny. you know yeah this is how you know this is the technology we're using and it's going to mean you know you have this you know things are going to be this much faster it was very technical and yeah, not, yeah. you but have I to kind of like know your stuff really yeah. wasn't that wasn't that meant to be a ces presentation though I'm yeah, but sure like, that was. Yeah, but yeah, it's like we've got something. So we've got something that's very in depth on the actual kind of inner workings, mm. and something on the other side. Nothing about on the game. The side. games. Yeah, but not not that middle bit. It's like this is actually how the console is going to work. You know, if you you know you're just getting it as a as a consumer. You know, this is so, what you're going to see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Joe. So I wanted to ask you guys. Um, about something that has become important over the over the years over the console uh, generations um how do you guys how important is it to you both you guys Mm -hmm. uh how how important is backwards compatibility to you guys yeah i'll take the lead on this okay i think it's huge (laughs) (laughs) you know i know we had a brief discussion on this but i think the backwards compatibility is huge and drew pointed it out as to why he has a huge library. That means he's already spent tons of money. He's already spent tons of time on his collection. So for the next, right. And for the next, and for the next generation to be able to accept that is a big plus because to me, it's more along the lines of dude, I just spent thousands on my collection here and now I can't play it unless I go back to my old console. And what's, you know, that's, that's a little bit of a turnoff for me. So I think the backwards compatibility is huge. I think it's a big plus. If there's a way you can transfer your game files into it or play it off a of cloud, which I think we're going to get to eventually, yeah. then that's more of a selling point for me than to say, I just spent all this time and money and now I can't even enjoy that no more because I got to buy the updated version or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I think it's huge. It's yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with that. Um, or well, particularly because I mean, I've still got some. Uh, so I've got. I knew when the Xbox One came out that, that they were doing. Oh, we're going to be doing backwards compatibility for some Xbox That's right. 60 games. Some, yeah. And it was. It, it, it wasn't particularly generous. Let's, I think it's a fair. It's fair to say. Yeah. Um. So, but I mean, I I've still got you know. Well, I've got original Xbox games. I've got 360 mm-hmm. games. I've got Xbox One games. It's nice to be able to have a console which will be able to play next gen as well as previous gen, you know, if mm. it's supported, yeah. um, without you know having to to fiddle around. Because I mean, with with you know the Xbox 360, I've got some of them don't even have you know HDMI cables. They got the really old red, white, yeah. yellow. Mm-hmm. That's uh, right. Yeah. Cables, well, which yeah. which new TVs just they 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 don't. They don't Mine doesn't it. have that. Yeah. 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 Mm. So it's like you have to have HDMI. So uh, it's nice that, that you know we've got these uh, options. And of course, for me, I, I've got a uh, like Victor, you're saying I've got I've got yeah I've got a library of games. I haven't completed all of them. I, I, <laughs> what do you a mean? Whole bunch, there's you a, there's a whole bunch. Who buys games and not finish them? Oh, what? Oh, who is just I haven't got around to it yet. You know, uh, we're just games, messing around, man. Yeah, I got yeah, no, games man. I haven't finished. Dude, yeah, games right. that you know, games that I buy, uh, you know, that I want to play, but you know, I'll play the, you know, I'll play this game after I finish this game this and this game, and then. Yeah. You know, other games come out in the meantime. Okay, okay, I'll play this game and then I'll play the game I said I was originally mm-hmm, going to play. Mm-hmm. So basically, I've got a whole library of uh, games, you know, some, you know, that I've still got to get through. Uh, so it'll be nice to be able to just, you know, do just put them in into the new console, mm-hmm. play it, yeah. you know, and go, oh, I want to play, you know, a PS5 or an Xbox Series X game. I can do that without having to you know, unplug everything, move consoles mm-hmm. around, all that stuff. So yeah. I think it's... Uh, I think it's really important. I, I think it's important for for um, you know for those of us who have uh, 
built up a collection over the years, mm-hmm. which I think yeah. is fair to say for all, uh, all three of yeah. us. Yeah. 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 No, I'm in the same boat, man. I, I, I so want to get through Shadow of Colossus. I just haven't been able to get to it. Yeah, yet, I've got. It's me one too, of those, yeah. you know, it's yeah. one of those games where it's like it's, you got to do it, got to do it. But no, I yeah. got Final mm-hmm. Fantasy 15 to get through first. No, but wait, but I'm also doing this one. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, before long, yeah. you got like ten games yeah. backlogged already, dude. Yeah, yeah I'm I, just looking. I, yeah, Sorry. yeah, I, I, uh, I'm a big believer, like you guys said. I, I believe in backwards compatibility. I, uh, I think it's very important um, to know where you came from and mm-hmm. uh, to be able to have that appreciation for those older games. Um, I think the other thing, too, that a lot of people don't talk about this, um, it's important for uh, the younger people, too. I mean, you know, yeah. to be able to, ex- to go back and experience stuff that we played, um, you know, m- multiple generations back, you know, it's important to do that. You know, uh, even Nintendo recognizes that because, I mean, you can go back and play uh, Super Mario Brothers and, and mm-hmm. uh, they have SMB3 on there, too. And they got Donkey, Kong, got... Dunk, Con- yeah. Donkey Kong Country on there Country. now. Yeah, you know, have Super Nintendo. Console, I mean, they're, they're all about uh, bringing those things that are iconic forward yeah. to current yeah. consoles. So for me, uh, you know, I, I, I firmly believe it's important. You know, I, I think that... If you don't think it's important, I think that I, I don't see how because, uh, you know, uh, and you have those people that say, well, I mean, if you've got those consoles, can't you just play them on there? And it's like Victor said, I don't want to have to shuffle around. I have a lot of consoles. I've got, hmm. uh, you know, I've got multiple consoles, uh, you yeah. know, and I don't want to have to dust it off and then have to go get a control. You know, I don't do all that stuff, man. Uh, yeah, well, I, wanna, yeah. I want that ease of being able to go back oh my god oh my god <laughs> and go back and um play those old generations so i mean for me you know uh when, when xbox decided to do that this gen that was a big deal and uh, it, it kills me to, why sony doesn't doesn't seem to want to do that anymore i mean they tried doing it when the ps3 first came out you know i remember ps2 titles were all backwards compatible uh, when the when the PS3 first came out, they had that big pure right. black yeah. um, PS3, and then it got too expensive, and so they had to like take that out, and then they had to make the uh, more scaled down version of the PS3, which not not scaled down graphically, mind you, but they just had to get rid of the emulation, the emotion engine, I think is what it was called. They had to take it out, and uh, they haven't really done backwards compatibility since, which I think is sad. Because there are so many good older games. I and mean, we've got Final Fantasy. we got Metal Gear Solid. I mean, why would you not want those games? And then they tried selling that atrocious PlayStation Classic that yeah. was just <laughs> so bad. I mean, the emulation on that is so bad. And then and I'm just like, but why not? Why not? You know, I just I don't know. Yeah. But, but yeah, it's emulation. Like, it's, like, it's like we've discussed. Or, uh, Brian, kind of we, we've talked about cool. this. We've talked about innovation. We've talked about you know, you know, competition breeds, competition brings better stuff. Nintendo has been the wacky, quirky leader in fun, fun, fun. They've always done some weird stuff. They've, yeah. they've like, I just pulled out the, the Wii U pad, which we still <laughs> use when I'm doing, um, uh, what is it? Wind Waker. I play Wind Waker. Oh, yeah, now. yeah. So, um, but anyways, the Switch offers the virtual console, man. Mm-hmm. offers the nes games and they're adding that library you know every couple months they'll add a couple titles the super nintendo is now on there and they're also adding titles to that again so i love that idea of remembering your roots but not only that they took it a step further by increasing your collection by giving you these games without you having to previously own them mm-hmm. yeah we need something like that for both microsoft and sony I think that would be yeah. great if they were to do something like that, but I don't know how much they well, value their roots as well, much as Nintendo does. Y- G- Game Pass does have a lot of 360 games on there that you can go back yeah. and play. Um, and I know uh, PlayStation Now has a lot of uh, PS2, PS3 games you can do that as well. Uh, which, but unfortunately, on PlayStation now you can't uh, you can't download them. You have to stream them mm-hmm. all. You have to rely on your internet connection. Um, I know that Sony is doing this uh, PlayStation Plus thing, uh, the PlayStation Collection. I think 
Oh yeah, uh, like all of the the classics but, on PS4. But the thing is, is like, and, and then they. How do you that, how do you compare the three though? Know, how would you compare the three? Uh, I think for, for me, I think number one um, would be Nintendo. Um, just because I mean, even uh, with the Virtual Console, that was introduced on back on the Wii. So you know, we're talking mm-hmm, mm-hmm. what 14, 15 They've years been ago that now. Time, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so yeah. that that you know. So that was, you know, your kind of your quick and easy way to, you know, oh, you didn't, you know, you didn't own an N64 for whatever reason. You, you can get, you know, Fine. Super Mario, yeah. Ocarina of Time, all that sort of stuff mm-hmm. on there and just play it. You know, you can plug in a controller and then you're, you're good to go. Um, and I would, I, I, I didn't really, like I said, with my, I, so I didn't own a PS3. I didn't own a PS2. Mm-hmm. Um, so when playing that like the whole sort of backwards compatibility thing wasn't really something um Mm -hmm. which i which i used um Mm -hmm. whereas on the xbox one uh i've I've got game pass uh but of course you know uh, there's some other games like mass effect for instance uh you know i didn't have a chance to complete the trilogy on the previous generation or this generation, <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've been able to play it, uh, you know, on the on the Xbox. Just you know, put in the disc, runs it in, you know, some sort of emulator. And uh, mm-hmm. so I think for me, it'll be Nintendo at the absolute top, uh, Microsoft in second, and, and Sony at the bottom for me. But. Yeah, yeah I, th- I think I'm I'm with you on that ranking system right there. What about you, Brian? What do you think? I mean, for me, I know, I know you're. I know you're big on, on Game Pass. Uh, I think Game Pass is absolutely the most uh, bang for your buck. Um, it's. I remember uh, when Netflix. Uh, you know, I, I'm a. I used. I used to be a manager at Blockbuster Video. I did that for ten okay. years. <laughs> right. And uh, I remember, you know, so I was in the thick of that whole like uh, Netflix Blockbuster battle. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember when Netflix made its debut. You know, home streaming thing was a big deal back in the two thousands. No, dude, it wasn't home streaming. You got or, well, you got this to mail. your home. Yeah, well, at first when Netflix was mailed, man. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I had to walk eighteen miles to the damn mailbox. Just mailbox drop off my life. video. No, but <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, but when when Netflix started doing the streaming service thing, though, um, uh, of course their business model was like Victor said. They did DVDs in the mail. It was so weird. Yeah, they still do that, by the way, for some people. They, they, they. Are some, oh yeah, they grandfathered them in, man. Like. But um, but I remember when they were doing the streaming thing, and I remember when uh, uh, Microsoft had this deal where you could be in a party and watch movies at the same time together. Do you guys remember that? Like they would put you in a little. Yeah, I remember something. They would like put you in this yeah. little, like a uh, uh, a virtual movie theater. You would sit in with your friends in a party, and as okay. long as uh, everybody had a Netflix subscription, you could watch movies together. Oh man, that was okay. the best thing ever. All right, and um. Which I wish we had now because hello, like, the yeah, thing going on. So, but um, I remember when the streaming thing. I was like, man, you know how cool it'd be if like we could stream video games. Like, I mean, like play them, like like how we watch movies and and do that. And um, and and so Microsoft really took the lead with that. I mean, for fifteen bucks a month, you get uh, I think like a hundred, two hundred plus titles. And you get every exclusive the day it's released, um, you know, and, and uh, granted, um, I believe there's, uh, I think Ultimate is what lets you play on PC and Xbox, but then there's two separate subscriptions for each too. There's PC, Xbox, Game Pass, and then there's uh, the console version. Okay. And each uh, have their own different catalog of games. Of course, you know, uh, you can play like Age of Empires, things like that. Crusader oh, Kings, I think, yeah. is on there now too. So like, um, you, you can't play on a console. But not only that, but I mean, uh, you get those exclusives day one, so which is great for next gen. Uh, all these amazing exclusives, you know, from all these new studios that Microsoft bought, including Bethesda now, which is huge, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, those are all going to be exclusive to Microsoft, and they'll be out day one, and I don't have to spend sixty or seventy dollars. Now we're in that territory. Yeah. So, uh, so for that value alone. I don't have to buy a game and then just let it sit on my shelf. I can pay one fee and play a ton of games that get rotated out, you know, every month. Yeah. Course, yeah. Which is great too. Uh, I wish Sony had that. I really wish Sony of all the places that has the best exclusives 
Yeah. I really wish Sony had that, man. Like, I, yeah. I just, but the thing, but I feel like the reason why Sony doesn't do that is because they know people are going to buy those games. They're going to get that money, whether yeah. they like it or not. So I think that's why they don't do it. Um, yeah. Not, although, but I think that you know, holds true for the other consoles too, man. Everyone has their, their favorites. Everybody has their, their preferences. But I think that, you know, the Xbox, or I should say Microsoft, I think the Microsoft fanboys will run out and buy those games too, just as much as the Nintendo oh, fanboys would oh, as well, you know? Yeah. So I, I don't think that's the driving force. I think there's just something else behind it. It could be just as simple as greed, dude. You know, I just, I just want the money. So I'm going to yeah. force you to buy it as opposed to having some kind of service, you know? Because I know we've talked about services. We've talked about, you know, with a bang for your buck. And I just don't see Sony moving in that consumer friendly bang for your buck type mentality, man. I see them more as a, you want my game, you got to go buy it. And you want the next one, you got to go buy that one too. As opposed to having some kind of service that would ease up on us having to spend so much. But again, you know, their businesses, they got to make their money. So I get it. Yeah. yeah. But, but um, it is nice to see Nintendo offering a virtual console with games on it and it's nice to see a game pass where you get all these games and it's trying to save the consumer money mm -hmm. sony just doesn't have that and what they do have it's not that great so i don't know man it's just my my, my thoughts my two cents on that mm -hmm. i'm curious andrew let's talk about this too uh so this next gen okay. we've got um not only do we have uh disc drive versions of games or of yeah. consoles coming out, rather. Uh, this is something mm -hmm. we didn't even uh, was not a thing back when we were doing this show. Um, yeah, we've got digital versions now of yes, consoles being coming out. <laughs> so I want I want to know your thoughts on that. How do you feel about the two major uh, gaming companies right now coming out with uh, digital editions of their consoles for next gen? How do you How do you feel about the digital only I... consoles? I think I, I think it's good, but I don't think it's good for me personally. Okay. So of course the the main thing is is that with the uh, with the digital consoles, you, you know you're talking. I'm trying to remember. So Xbox is, in the grand scheme of things, very cheap. So yeah. So so both the uh, main PS5 and Xbox Series X in the UK are 449 pounds each. Mm -hmm. The uh, the Xbox digital version, I believe, is two hundred and forty nine pounds. Yeah, it's two ninety nine American here. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas the the, the PlayStation version is three hundred and forty nine pounds. Yeah. Um, so I think it's mm -hmm. good that mm -hmm. if if you, if you want to uh, to get that, you know, if if you want to experience next gen, uh, you know, but you're on a you know, but you're on a budget, you know, mm -hmm. particularly at the moment. Um, um, so I think that's good. Um, however. The, the, the reason I don't think it's going to be it will be good for me is because I think it's fair to say that buying you know AAA titles from you know the official PlayStation or Microsoft stores is probably the most expensive way that you can go about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. So you want to get you know so if you want to get a brand so current gen you want to get a brand new game off Amazon or whatever it might be thirty five forty pounds. You try to find the same thing on PlayStation or Microsoft Store, it might be you know 50, 55 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, so, with the digital only um, consoles, that's the route you're going to have to take. You're going to have to buy it all, you know, yeah. off off the official stores. Yeah. So while it's cheaper, I think based on the amount of games I'll probably get on on the consoles over time, I would end up spending more money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. with the digital ones point. than I would yeah. with the uh, with the disc based ones so yeah. I think it's a good idea I think it's um, I, I, it, it seems like it's a good way a good way to be you know consumer friendly at the moment um, yeah. but I think it for me it's going to be a pass that, that's a good perspective I like that I haven't I thought too. about that yet because you know you'll get a lot of deals on on you know GameStop, Target, Walmart, whatever. You get like two games for three or something like that. You get yeah, games yeah. Two, I'm sorry. You know, yeah. you get things like that or buy one, get one half off or something like mm -hmm. that. So unless we can get those type of deals, you know, for digital versions, which we don't know yet, it's all speculation. But you're absolutely yeah. right though, Drew, because I have seen the digital versions usually stick around that 
60 USD price tag for the AAA mm-hmm. titles. And it kind of just stays there. It doesn't really, yeah, yeah. I don't really see sales, drops. you know, I don't see any of that stuff. Mm. So it's kind of like one of those, even now I've been wanting to play uh, Fatal Frame uh, okay. like four for the Wii yeah. U. Cause you know, I'm a huge horror fan and sure. I'm waiting for that game to drop. That sucker is still $59.99. <laughs> and I'm oh, like, man, okay. do I really want to pay $59.99 for like a 10 year old game? I don't <laughs> right. know. Man. But, but yeah. that, that falls into that, that, into that category of Damn. you yeah. purchase a digital a version of a console and now you might be forced to to pay that much for the games we just you don't know yet again speculation but yeah yeah, yeah. Based on what yeah. we've seen before you know it's yeah. possible that's what it's going to be and there's also the uh the reality of downloads times as well you know if you get a disc-based thing almost always you have to download an update even if you get it you know first thing on the first day it comes out there's going to be some sort of patch or update, updates yeah. or whatever which can take a bit of time um but if you got it on a disc generally the vast majority of all that stuff's already been it's on the disc you just need to download you know maybe a couple of extra gigabytes if you're downloading it mm-hmm. then it's going to be th- that those couple of gigabytes plus the actual plus size the of the rest of the game yeah. so so brian you were saying um that you've been playing persona 5 royal right that's that's a chunky game it yeah. is yeah <laughs> so um and i mean i re-downloaded um modern warfare uh yesterday uh, i uh, everything deleted reinstalled uh, oh. and it, it was say, and it was saying oh and it was saying it, and when i was doing it it was saying like estimated download time 33 hours yeah man <laughs> ouch 33 hours <laughs> yeah because it's like 100 yeah, because it's like yeah. 100 games. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's so, and, and that's the thing too is is that um so I'll, I'll, although the um although I get what Xbox especially and and, and well both are trying to do because uh, it's very because both both of their consoles that are digital are very different too because with the Xbox hmm. you get uh, only 1440p. Uh, okay. graphics and I believe they upscale to 4k it doesn't do true 4k okay um, whereas the ps5 digital is just a digital version it's still the same powerful console it just doesn't have an optical drive hmm. but my problem with this is I get that like these consoles are cheaper um, and that's they have a more attractive price but you are locking yourself into their um, their storefront. You, you, that means you can't go to GameStop or you can't go to yeah. Game and buy uh, used games. You have to buy everything brand new. Um, yeah. So my thing is, if they want these consoles to stay competitive, yeah. they're going to have to go the route of Steam and have competitive prices on yeah. their digital versions. So I had this idea, and, I, and I'll run this by you guys. Let me know what you think. Okay. I think what would be interesting is if you buy an all digital version of these consoles that you get a bonus discount to their stores like forever, which might make them a lot more attractive to buy because yeah, think about it. You're already going to, usually if you have PS plus or uh, Xbox live, you already get a discount of some kind on games. Right. Yeah. But if I think what they could do is add on an, an additional, maybe 10 to 15% on top of, the discount you get with the subscription you pay for, which I think would make it more attractive to buy. Because let's face it, if I'm going to get a digital con- a digital only console, I'm not going to want to just buy sixty to and, and or seventy dollar games. Yeah, you got to give me more of an incentive, right? If yeah, I'm price jump. Mm. Not only that, but we have SSD drives coming out now, mm. uh, and and. Uh, <clears throat> We all know SSD drives. Yeah, are those suckers are pricey. Expensive. I know yeah. Microsoft just announced how much their one terabyte card's going to be. It's going to be two hundred and nineteen dollars. So basically, the price of another. I mean, <laughs> another one. I mean, another another, another Xbox. Xbox. And, and, yeah. and the thing is, yeah, right. And the thing is, uh, I think the Xbox Digital only gives you five hundred and twelve gigabytes of storage. So when you have <laughs> games like Call of Duty, it's going to take yeah, up a, yeah. almost a how third fun. of that. Yeah. We're, yeah, we're gonna start I, seeing setups oh, like man. this, guys. We're gonna see the Xbox X, or man, I, I hate these damn names. We're gonna <laughs> see the towered Xbox coupled yeah. with the mini Xbox to store all the games. Because yeah, it's yeah. gonna be ridiculous. <laughs> but, but you know what? 
the, these are un, un, uncharted waters, man. We're doing yeah. all digital stuff now, so we have no idea uh, how they're going to do this. Um, I like the idea of having, uh, if you're going to buy the digital one, we're going to give you uh, some sort of lifetime discount uh, at the store because mm -hmm. you have to get them from there. There's just no other way. Yeah. Uh, but whether or not they actually do that, who knows? Again, this is probably all won't. new. Yeah. Won't. You probably know, it's all new territory. Yeah. Like I said, I'm still waiting for that Fatal Frame game to drop. And this You're going to be waiting forever for that. I'm still waiting for it. I don't want <laughs> to pay happening. 60 bucks for it. It ain't happening. But, <laughs> but this, is the, this is the stuff that we're going to be dealing with because we just don't know. The only thing that, that I have solace in, in this is that if Sony and Microsoft both have digital versions, then I would like to think that that, that competition – will drag some prices down saying, Hey, nice. look, my, my, my games are cheaper on my side. Maybe you might want to get this digital version as opposed to that one, but yeah, uh, again, uncharted waters. We just don't know how this is. Gonna yeah. yeah. I, it's going to be very interesting in November to see which of these consoles sell the most or sell yeah. better. Uh, well, you know, yeah. it, it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. The, there's some interesting things. Cause um, I think I, 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 th I think I read somewhere that apparently the Xbox uh, Series X is actually selling really well in Japan. They um, sold out. They sold out in Japan. Yeah, and, and, like, and, all the way. yeah, and they and, never uh, do well in Japan. Exactly, exactly. They never so do it's, well. It's, in it's, Japan. An, it's an eye opener. Is what it is. So yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. But I think the, the the other thing is is that so I don't know about you guys, but um, I also use my my PS4. On my Xbox, not just for games, but also for you know watching Blu-rays mm -hmm. and DVDs and that sort of thing. Which, yeah. again, digital, you're going to be shot out of that. So, um, not sure how they're. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's point. a lot of. Yeah, it's a lot of I stuff. Think, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think traditional D. Well, I might be completely wrong bit here, but it seems like kind of traditional standalone, you know, DVD players and Blu-ray players are kind of being. Um, replaced by you know these consoles and you know digital streaming and all that sort of stuff yeah yeah we we've yeah. discussed this too and i think that the game uh, the word game console will be removed from our vocabulary and it's just going yeah. to be an entertainment console because these things just do so much more than just play games now some yeah, of them yeah. are our blu-ray players like you just said others are our streaming services netflix crunchyroll whatever is on there already yeah, yeah. so you know you'll remove some of those with the digital version yeah but yeah Again, we just don't know how it's going to play out in the long run. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, man. You, uh, uh, with, with your comment, uh, Victor, earlier about the um, about the confusing names, I don't know if you heard, but apparently uh, there are a whole bunch of people who <laughs> they a whole bunch of people yeah. accidentally pre-ordered Xbox. Yeah. Xbox One X, thinking that oh, they were pre-ordering Xbox Series X. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See that that that's why I don't even bother with these names anymore, man. That's why I said I'm talking about the Xbox Tower one and the little yeah. one. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go with that. I'm gonna go with that till the meantime because I can't remember S and X we'll and X's. That's we'll why I called it X Y Z P twenty four. So I don't, I don't yeah. know, man. These tower and speaker. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> at, at the end of the day, uh, tower speaker, I like that. Tower at speaker. the end of the day, we're gonna call it Xbox, anyways. You on your Xbox? Oh yeah, I'm on my Xbox. And we yeah, know exactly yeah. what we're talking about. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. So it's gonna it's be a tricky fun. time for. It's gonna be a tricky time for uh, parents and grandparents. Sort of, uh, <laughs> yeah, <Christmas>. definitely, <laughs> definitely. You know, I'm curious about. Um, you guys do Black Friday over there, right? You guys have like a Black uh, Friday. We, do you guys do that uh, there? We we uh, I, well, I think. Like I said earlier, I think I might have got my Xbox One during I think like the Monday after is Cyber Monday or something like that. Okay. Or like, um, so that's like when you get all of the the big deals online, like Amazon and all that. But stuff. do but yeah. do you guys do a do a no, we don't do, like we do here. No, oh no no no. no. Oh okay. <laughs> no, we Americans we're crazy. We'll set up there be... at two a.m. in the morning. So I'm so I'm curious so. if we're even gonna do these Black Friday things here. In uh, America. We're too, we're, I don't we're, think so, yeah. man. I, I we're too busy. We're too busy fighting over toilet roll over here in the UK at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, we. Uh, oh, you guys are still fighting over that. Uh, well, you guys are still dealing with the. There the was a, there was another th there was another um address we, the other. We're, we're kind of good so here on that now. We we were good. Well, what happened was that it was chaos back in March, and now. Um, oh yeah. And then there was address an address the other day that they basically said, "Oh yeah, it's, it's going on for another six months." So apparently, there's now. 
cases of people being oh, same thing. God. Yeah, it's like the second wave. <laughs> oh, exactly. the second wave of toilet paper buying. So let's oh, let's man. just touch let's just touch base because again, you know, this is a different country over in the UK. So. Yep. The situation with the pandemic over there, it's pretty yeah. much round two. Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, yes. Um, in the UK, we tend to start school back up at the beginning of September. Um, so, you know, after, so, so people were off, you know, school and that sort of thing, probably from about March. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, things were looking good in the numbers. So saying, okay, let's have everyone go back to school. And now everyone's going back to school. And now they're saying, okay. <laughs> we'll take uh, it back, huh? Yeah. yeah yeah so yeah. Uh, bad idea bad idea yeah <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah bad idea yeah, good yeah. intentions yeah no we're, we're in the same boat to an extent i mean some communities some cities some states are, are doing the kids going back to school and yeah. then you know yeah. almost immediately saying yeah you know what never mind guys is that take it back come back yeah yeah do it at home come back yeah go back home where you can play on uh you can play on the xbox one x right oh, yeah x uh, i'm now i'm getting mixed up. see there you go you can now mix <laughs> there it is there yeah, it is, a, and we had that discussion <laughs> too, man. Yeah, it's yeah. just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Um, I know there's still travel restrictions between us and you guys. You guys can't come here, and we can't. Uh, we can't. Go yeah, it's unless tricky. it's like family yeah. reasons, or I think you have to have like a work visa or something. Yeah, like it's it's it's, go there. it's tricky. This has yeah. been a crazy time, man. Um, yeah. You know, uh, how has it impacted you, man? Like, what you know, going um, through this whole ordeal? Like, so it's it's been so. Luckily, based on what I actually do for a job, I've been able to to do the exact same thing from home um, without any issue. Glad to hear that. Uh, yeah, so um, I haven't been. I, I don't know if, uh, what you call it in the US, but in the UK, you might have heard there's something called a furlough. Uh, yeah. thing where yeah. people mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. people are off work, but they get given like eighty percent of their. Uh, wages if as if they were yeah so okay. so you're so you're furloughed are you also i'm not furloughed you're not but you you're able to I'm, do your job from home yeah i can do my job from home yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. my wife my wife is able to do hers from home too so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and then of course I, to I do too so yeah 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 That's so, good. Oh, there we go we're so all I'm, I'm glad to hear everyone's doing well man because you know this this pandemic's been kicking everyone's ass and and i'm yeah. sorry if you know one of you guys out there listening or watching uh lost their job to an extent based on this you know because it's it's been tough yeah but um but I am I am glad to hear you're able to get yeah. done th get your job done from home because mm. not everyone's lucky to to be able to do that you know mm -hmm. yeah yeah I, I guess it's also uh, lucky that my <laughs> my hobby hasn't been too affected either because you know video games uh, you know that that's my my main thing outside of uh, yep. work so yep. uh, I'm glad that I'm able to you know. I'm able to still do that. Um, yeah, and have but, awesome so, conversations with people like that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That's I just, cool. um, yeah, man. This has been a. This has been just a. Just it's crazy. Like this mad yeah, madness, yeah. man. I mean, you know, people. Uh, I, I remember, you know, talking about toilet paper and stuff. Like it. it I think it took me. Uh, I did a live stream of me trying to find toilet paper, and I yeah. went to like eight different stores that day and they didn't have any I'm like, this yeah is crazy, man. It's, like it's i never crazy. thought i would be in a situation where i'd have to uh hunt down tp like this is ridiculous yeah yeah, yeah. and i mean uh <laughs> it was panic buying man you know it's, it's panic it's buying. Panic. exactly panicking. yeah it's always yeah. something it's all there's always yeah. that one thing that people feel like they gotta have like yeah yeah and i know yeah, i remember I, I, I remember reading, man, it was, it, was a, it was a therapist post that I had saw online somewhere, I think on Instagram, that pretty much said, you know, we jump into this panic buying because we have no control over what's going on outside. So this is the one thing we can control. It's mm -hmm. like a mental thing, yeah. you know? The mental state. Yeah. You feel a little more, more comfortable. Yeah. But there was a lot of people needing a lot of comfort that day because, man, yeah, all yeah. that stuff was gone. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was such a weird combination of things that were gone. I, I don't know what it was uh, like for you, but in the UK, the the, the big things, are, you know, so you had toilet paper, water, uh, pasta, bread. Pasta. Oh, the, all the, yeah, all yeah. the pasta. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, because it, it's got no, a long yeah, shelf life true. and everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, so um, bread, flour, because people, you know, making bread at home all yeah. of a sudden, because that's the... <laughs> that was a cool thing to suddenly do, I guess. Everyone decided to That's bake. Funny. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and and, and uh, baked beans as well. So, uh, uh, an interesting uh, series of dinners the, for whoever the beans thought of that stuff. That's but I do remember okay. the pasta aisles being empty. Dude, we were looking yeah, for like yeah. fettuccine or whatever, and it was all gone. Yeah. So the instant noodles and things like that. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's been crazy. 
Yeah, yeah it's just well, hopefully not much longer, guys. But my, my yeah. understanding yeah. is at the very least, the end of the year, it may be even beyond. Yeah, so, yeah. You know. Yeah, this has impacted so many things. I mean, I know um, it's it's been causing people to have to be more creative with stuff. I know we've had so many guests on our show here. Uh, you know, we, we always are trying to find out what they've been up to and how, how they've been trying to get creative with what they do. I know we've had some actors on here from Hollywood. We've okay. had some artists on here and things like that, mm-hmm. you know, uh, trying to tell us what they've been up to. I know um, really, I mean, that's, that's why we decided to get, you know, do, do, do this show again was because, oh, start. Yeah. you know, I'm trying to figure out what, you know, what can I do? Cause I'm a writer and I'm a journalist and all that stuff, a reviewer. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've been I've been wanting to do a podcast again. I've been trying to get this show back for a while now, and thankfully here we are. Yeah. But um, you know, um, this show has been a good show. It's been good to me. I know it's been good to you guys. I know, uh, you know, uh, we've we've had some good times on this show, and uh, you know, we're going to be at uh, at episode fifty by the end of this uh, year. We'll have that <laughs> done. Oh. And, um, you know, and we're, and we're doing that, you know, we're, uh, this show's on Spotify. Now you guys can listen to us on iTunes, Google play, SoundCloud. Um, and then of course, all of our video episodes, uh, of course will be on YouTube. So this YouTube. will be on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I know, um, you know, we had, we had some struggles, didn't we, Andrew, when we, when we were doing some podcasting back then. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, we did actually talk about, uh, I think we were kind of setting our aims a bit high because I think we did discuss the possibility of video episodes. And I think we also did bat around the idea of a live episode as well. Yeah. 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 But I think, I think we were thinking uh, probably about five or six years ahead of our time. Ahead of ourselves. Yeah. 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 Video back in 2012 would have <laughs> yeah. been killer, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> man, if we would have had Zoom back then, this would have been great. Oh, man, yeah, right. We, we had this stuff back then. No, there's, there's Pamela Bull, Bull. <laughs> or, or no? Skype calls, Skype. or <laughs> yeah, I remember Skype too, man. Yeah, that was that was that was tough, man. That was ugly. That was ugly. Let's be real. That shit was ugly. <laughs> oh, that was yeah. that was so bad. It was so bad. But you know, we we fought through it. We 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 struggled through it, and here we are. You know. Yeah, we're it, was, at... it, 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 it was hard. It was yeah. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Victor and I are looking to take this show on the road, man. Next year, when uh, hopefully all is uh, all is right in the world again, we'll be able to uh, do some shows at cons and then going back yeah, to that'd be fun. Awesome. You know, and, all right. and seeing some people. And uh, who knows, man? We'll be maybe we'll go to the UK and we can do all this yeah, with right. you too, there you like go. <laughs> in person. I've always I've never yeah. been to the UK, so I've always wanted to go overseas. And oh man, and it's and, so that was gonna go this year, but you know all this stuff happens. Yeah. Really? Okay. Oh, so so. We got to delve into that. Where are you planning right. on going? I don't know, man. Probably Spain or something. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah. Probably a good thing. Well, probably a good thing you avoided Spain at this point because they were right. uh, they were a huge hot hot spot. Uh, they hot were spot. a hotbed, yeah. man. They're, yeah. they're, they're, uh, they're in Italy as well. Those are the yeah. two big ones. Yeah, yeah something oh, like Spain would have been cool. You know, hitting my roots. Uh, Salazar's okay. a yeah. Spaniard name, mm-hmm. so. You know, I'm not from Spain myself, but it would have been cool to go check that out. Absolutely. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to like uh, England, of course, London. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to go to France one day and visit the Louvre. I'm a okay. big, uh, I'm a big fan of art, so I've always wanted to go there. Mm-hmm. Um, what about you guys? What are some travel destinations you guys have? All? I've, I've all, my my number one, uh, my number one is Japan. I want to go to Japan yeah. so bad. I uh, might not. Fun. I might I not. Fun set back. aside for that already too, man. <laughs> yeah, I already okay. told the family we're going in two years. I already all set right. that aside. Ooh, I'm okay. making it happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, well, so yeah. Think, uh, Mm-hmm. I think last time um, we were doing this, I was talking about wanting to uh, to go to the US. Since then, I've actually been there a few You've times. You've been, now. yeah. Oh, I've nice. Been, yeah, where, yeah. where did you so, go? Um, so I went to uh, Baltimore um, a few times because, oh, funny enough, because um, way back when we were doing the game FAQs, podcast <laughs> um we did th- this was back in this was 2011 it's, it's, so this is basically was when 12, uh yeah. yeah so this is when bronies were you know that was like an up a big coming. deal yeah yeah. yeah 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 so um I, yeah like i said i ended up getting into the show after that and I, I actually went to baltimore for the purpose of going to uh this big brony convention called BronyCon. Uh, BronyCon, which, yeah. Oh, yeah 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 uh so i, I managed oh, to yeah. go yeah, yeah. So I managed to go a few times there. Um, it, nice. it wrapped up last year, um, but I mean, the first time I was in Baltimore, we drove up to uh, to DC as well. So I've been, you know, I've been to the capital. Nice. 
That's nice. Um, and I, cool. yeah, yeah, and um, my fiance he lives up in um, uh, San Diego, so I've also visited California a few times. Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. I know Brian's been wanting. Fiance, to San Diego. hold on, <laughs> tell us all about this. Yeah, uh, mate. yeah. So, so it's someone um, I I met because of the whole um, BronyCon thing. And that's speaking. awesome. Now that's cool. Yeah. That's and, really and so cool. the other good thing is is that with this whole pandemic thing, he he flew out here. Um, <laughs> middle yeah. of march and um he, he was able to stay here until Man, that's uh, awesome. he had to he had to unfortunately go back a couple of weeks beca- ago because yeah. you can stay yeah. in the uk up to six months without any visa but it was good to have somebody oh, cool. here to, to, to basically someone to be with during this whole uh, oh yeah yeah situation. definitely yeah. yeah yeah that's i'm glad you had somebody i'm glad he was able to come out there with you yeah so, yeah so he lives in california yes yeah so okay, the plan, so I got the, the plan. The, What's the plan? plan is, Who's going where? The, plan, uh, the short-term plan is for him to come over here. Yeah. Um, uh, that's probably that's always, probably a good idea. No? <laughs> a good idea. Huh? <laughs> man, California's on fire right now, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. yeah, or maybe you guys could be in the middle he's, somewhere he's, and end up in Indiana. You know, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be something crazy. But yeah, luckily he's awesome. uh, he's he's not he's not affected by uh, at the moment with what's going on um, with that. So he's uh, he's doing okay. So uh, good, good. yeah, I remember I remember you meeting. You said you had met somebody at BronyCon. Yeah. So yeah. This is the same guy. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. That's I'm happy for you, See, man. This is why we need the conventions I'm back, happy man, because you, you exactly, meet yeah. people at these places, and there can be lifelong yeah. friends, partners, whatever. Yeah. I mean, these are the type of things that, that we so desperately need, man. You guys got a date so I really set? hope this shit's over soon. No, not yet. Not, no, yet? not yet? Not yet? No, it's... Uh... Dude, I'm so happy for you, man. That's awesome. Right? That's cool, Thank man. You. That's I love cool. that. I love hearing that stuff. Thank man. you. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so no. Well, so, so, so I got way off the question there. Uh, so no, <laughs> oh, it's no, all good. It's all good. Uh, no, no immediate travel plans at the moment. But I think that's good because I mean, with this, you know, with what's going on, I'm kind of using this as a time to save money and try, you yeah. know, try to to yeah. cut costs so that you know when we yeah. get out on the other side of all this, um, that you know I'm doing okay basically that's good yeah. um so so that's good uh, that's yeah, good so, that's good i'm yeah. i'm glad i'm happy Sounds man, good. i'm so happy for you man you're looking good you're doing great thank you <laughs> i mean you know still doing the ibm thing which is fantastic as well i know you mm-hmm. uh, we had told we talked about that before too uh yeah. last time we had spoke many years ago i'm mm-hmm. glad to see you're doing well man Thank you. I'm really, really, really happy for you. For real, that's that's fantastic to hear. Yeah. I, I can't speak on your looks, but you know, I am glad that you're, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that you're, that you're, that you're doing great, man. <laughs> yeah. First time I've seen you, so I don't know. I know Brian had made mention of the hair growing out and stuff like that. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look through <laughs> hey, some of the archived photos and see the video. <laughs> Oh, dude, he used to be like a real clean shaven dude. Like, yeah, yeah. And now, I mean, you look great. You look great, dude. Man, pandemic pandemic will change people, man. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's all a bit of fun. That's all it is, really. No, yeah. Dude, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. Well, guys, that's all all we that's uh, that's all the time we got today for this episode. But man, Andrew, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you for uh, having me. You know, uh, it's so great to have you back, man. You you were the one that helped me start this whole thing. And I appreciate you. And dude, this is always your home, man. You're, anytime you want to come back, more dude, than welcome. We, more than welcome. More than welcome yeah. to join us for uh, for an episode. And uh, we were hoping to have Kona on the show today. I guess she got a little uh, confused on the dates, but we're we're gonna have you on, Kona. We'll have, we'll do one with you, absolutely. Uh, here here probably probably even in October. I don't think we have much going on. We got a uh, we got a Halloween episode. We're gonna do. We're gonna dress up. That'll be fun. Yeah, I've already got. I've already got one. I've already got mine picked out, Victor. You better. Do you? I don't have anything picked out yet, man. Just wait. You share or what? Just oh, wait. It's a oh no, it's a surprise, bro. All gonna right, man. But we're doing a Halloween episode uh, in, in, a, in next month, um, and then um, you know we're always going to have some guests lined up too. I'm, work, I'm working on that as well. Uh, if you are a uh, person that you know, whether you're uh, in the movie industry, video game industry, TV, whatever, art. Uh, you know, and you want to be on our show and tell us about what you are passionate about and uh, please uh, reach out to us. You can, uh, uh, I'll put some contact information below on the YouTube mm-hmm, video mm-hmm. here and uh, all of our episodes are always available every Monday on all the places I mentioned below, including YouTube or before, including YouTube. You guys can check us out and subscribe to our channel. We also have a Patreon 
that you can oh, yeah. uh, join us about. Victor, tell them about the Patreon. <laughs> Patreon, my friends. Yeah. Patreon.com forward slash Dragon Cast. It's the, the Dragon Cast. It's the Dragon, the Dragon Cast. Yes. Making sure you get that right. You know, yeah. it's like, like we had made mention to this show, man. Travel plans are on hold right now, but we do plan on traveling soon. We plan on having live shows. We plan on visiting conventions and having the podcast uh, live from these conventions. Right. So we're moving up. We're looking at having some uh, pretty exciting times ahead for the Dragon Cast. Uh, so in the meantime, we have the Patreon. Uh, we have two tiers, $1 tier and a $3 tier. Uh, not much in bonuses right now, but we will have some uh, exclusive yes. content soon. Uh, might be something fun. Might be some pregame stuff, like pre-show, right. I should say. Oh, that pre-show. Uh, like, again, we always, we always have some nice little conversation, Drew, you know, before our hand, yep, before yep. the show. Oh, he knows. Uh, nothing, nothing, yep. nothing scripted. <laughs> it's nothing scripted, but it's, it's nice to see what goes on before the podcast. So, so we're, right. we're thinking about doing that. But, uh, That's right. but again, you know, it's, it's, all these funds are for that, for better equipment, uh, for travel plans, for booth fees, um, all kinds of stuff, man. We have plans. We have ideas. Uh, visit patreon.com slash the dragon cast yes. and uh, become a patron of the show. Help us out. Um, yep. None of this goes to our pocket. This all goes nope. back into this the show. This goes back so. into this show. So what you're watching so, uh, here is going to help us make us better. Go so. for it guys, man. We appreciate all the help. Thank you uh, for all that have joined and those that plan on joining and uh, we'll be seeing you guys soon. man. Andrew, was there anything you wanted to promote at all? Like anything you're working on doing anybody want to give a shout out to whatever while you're here? Uh, I'm going to give a shout out to the dragon card. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. There we go. 40 episodes. What was is, is, is this right now? Is it that it? You got, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you, you go. go, right? No, no. There you go. You figured it out. I was, I was mentally preparing for that. I had to make sure I get it right. He's like, I got to think about this. It's a number. I got to right? think about the number. Yeah. <laughs> it's too early for numbers, man. Too early for numbers. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening to our show. And we hope to have you back once again next Monday right here on the Dragon Cast. And my name is Brian Dale. I've got Victor over here. And uh, Andrew, thank you so much again for coming on and taking some time with us all the way over in the UK. Until next thank time, you, guys. Andrew. We'll see you next week. Later, guys. Later.